<laughs> my Apple Watch is not my Apple Watch is not working anymore. That's fucking weird. My Apple Watch has been dead for months. I, I just I wear it for fucking style. I wipe charged is the, it. It's not working. What is now. the benefit of having an Apple Watch? Is this a, is this an, is this a pretty much an extension it, of your phone? It is. I will say it's it is useful, but the battery life on it is is garbage. Really? Like really? To, uh, yeah. I I because I my Apple Watch runs out in like no more than no. It never lasts more than two days before I have to charge it again. And I'm just like, what's the point of this fucking thing it was a charger like mm. a phone yeah but like it's supposed to it's that's, a watch that's like I, I feel like that's two whole days of battery i just life. don't understand but it's, but it's, like, it's just it... sitting there not doing anything it's just sitting there like it shows me the time when i look at it right like, so what is it what that's what i want to know like what what is what has uh when you got your apple watch what like did your quality of life like improve or a convenience did anything like improve by having it, it? was it was just the idea of yeah. me not exactly needing my phone every time i was doing anything like I can call people from my watch. I can get text messages from my watch. I can respond to my watch. I can interact with Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all of them with my watch. For me, for me, I have my, fo- I have was... my phone for that already. But right, the thing so is that I, it, was, like... it was just a bit of a more sell it to me. Sell me the watch. Sell me the watch. Sell me the watch. Sell me. Sell me. We 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 are not sponsored by Apple, so I'm not selling anything. But. I will, I will, I will say this. Look, it's not it's coming on. Con- it's listening. ever so. It's slightly convenient. Like specifically, I got it because I liked the idea of uh, it's, it's waterproof, right? So I like the idea of being able to have like uh, play music in my shower while charging my phone and being able to like kind of like adjust it from like from inside the shower and shit. Like that was nice. And just being able to like copy and find my phone when I lost it—that that was a big a one. Thing too. That's. That's you, really you're selling me. You're selling me. That's you're doing it. but that's but that's really it. Like getting to text <laughs> texting on your watch is so insanely cumbersome and dumb that like I don't imagine that anybody actually does it for real. Like maybe mm-hmm. they'll do like the hey Siri, could you text my mom and tell her I'm dead? Maybe they do that stuff, but <laughs> like they don't. Uh... <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. <laughs> the I think I don't know. It's it's not something that I would recommend really to most people. Like you don't need it. You don't need it. The Apple Watch represents the dragon of chaos. Damn, bro. That's and fire emblem shit. And Pinocchio was getting fucked by uh, uh, Geppetto. Geppetto? Geppetto file. Geppetto file. Who's that, who's that guy that do with the huge ass? Like, he was like the villain that stole Pinocchio. Oh, my God. He's, he's, the, guy the, circus. he's the guy at the circus. I know what you mean. Uh, Dude. Have, go look at that guy is he's got the juice he's caked up beyond belief the, the the villain in pinocchio has a fat the ass the guy at the carnival like that takes rid- the little boys and turns into donkeys a ridiculous like put in i don't know what his name is so fat i guess you put in like pinocchio the- nigga <laughs> <laughs> yeah so in fat ass pinocchio nigga so we were we were talking a little bit before we started the show about uh about shaving because like uh sweeney and i we both have to shave like you might not be able to see it for me but i, I look fucking disgusting right now uh and what was it that you said Derek? you said like you're it's anytime you shave it makes you look like you're trying to be 20 or something yeah basically it looks like you're trying to uh bang um high school girls or something like Dang, it just looks- dude <laughs> Obviously, I'm being a little hyperbolic. It's extremely, right? but yeah, just, out, extremely but, out of pocket. It, <laughs> out of fucking pocket, it's just, bro. Look, what so is my theory deal? is... So, so this is my theory, and I admit it to you guys that this is coming from a, a person that can't grow. The, all this, this chin strap, it doesn't grow past this. And then there's, like, no hair here. Some people even say that I have a reverse Hitler because there's, like, hair on the sides of my face. And there's, like, no hair growing in the middle. So it's just like it's like if me and Hitler kissed, we'd make like a complete mustache. And I was like, that's fair. That's fair. But uh, yeah, so I have like the oh, I've always wanted a beard. I think I'd look better with a beard, especially when those AI apps came out with, and then people were slapping beards on me. And I'm like, fuck, that looks good. That looks really good. And uh, even one time, my, my ex-girlfriend, she saw one of those things like, man, that does look really good. And I was like, thanks, bitch. Look, I, let really, me appreci- tell you, I really appreciate look, that. Look, look, I'm not going to look. I've I've heard. 
And I know people who have had a hard time. Apparently, by the way, this is like a very weird thing that has just happened lately. I remember when I was a kid or when I was younger, this was entirely fictional medical technology. But apparently you can just grow hair now. Like, that's just a thing. Like, you just take a pill and you will grow hair. Like, I had a friend who couldn't grow a beard forever. And then he started taking like this thing. And he has a full beard now. I don't understand like that, what like the fuck been that is. For a long time, it's like supplements. Are I feel, no, no. But when I was a kid, I remember feeling like that wasn't real. You know what I, I mean? Like, been like I remember I feeling. I know that hair transplants like, were real, and then they, you, look, you looked like stuff. that fucking. You looked like that that fucking that uh, photoshopped image of um, Brendan Fraser with the sad eyes and the and the, the <laughs> with that fucking the, the piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the pine the pineapple hair. Yeah, and yeah, like. Yeah. I, I like I, I remember those being a thing, but apparently that's just like you could you could get a cream and a pill that will let you grow a full beard. Look, most stuff was if like you really kind wanted of it. Charlatan type stuff like Rogaine was like really big for a while. And my thing was, OK, if Rogaine works for your scalp, why the fuck wouldn't it work for your face? You know, why isn't there beard gain, for example? Like, to me, it was like, okay, this is like charlatan bullshit. It's like those dick pills. The, the, what yeah, was it? Yeah, yeah. Stins and insight. <laughs> no, see what I, they I do. Pop, I pop four extends. I take a half of Viagra and I'm good to go for weeks, bro. <laughs> okay. See, yeah, but they, they make your rod like maximally hard, but they don't grow your penis. Like, bro, they it grows. Claim. There. It's, it's, it's so far extended. It grows slightly and then it bursts. <laughs> it's true it's true it's true because it it, it, the thing is it's like okay. th those pills make you harder than you ever have been therefore it's a, and so it sticks uh, and so it it, gro it it goes further it goes further yeah, beyond you know <laughs> now <laughs> i mean technically uh, and you know i do actually want to get sponsored by it. There, there's a there's a company i'm not going to say their name but there's a company where it's chewable viagra and cialis and i was like dude I, we we got to give these to we got to give this to our audience. So I'm going to reach out to these guys. Can you I wanna, imagine I wanna chewing? Can you imagine chewing hard dick gum? Yeah, that's dude. crazy. I I've, I've been hearing it on some podcasts, and I was like, you know what, dude? I hear uh, I hear I people talking I, about it. And I'm like, I don't believe this, bro. I mean, dude, you got, I I've never I've been too scared. I was too scared to try it, but I had um I had a sample pack of Viagra, and I was too scared, um because I don't have any problems. So I imagine. That like if I took a pill, it's just gonna be painful after a while. Like you're just gonna yeah, be yeah, rocking. Yeah. Especially Cialis, they say lasts for 36 hours. I'm like, why would anybody need that? Why? That like, is, what is when that? When you're trying to get a baby, when you're trying to make a child, that's when you need that. Like when you're like, <laughs> all right, this is what we're doing. We're making a kid. You put. You, I mean, you maybe pop, so, right? You pop a Cialis, and you're like, hey, bitch, I really hope you've been drinking water. <laughs> Cause I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get this out of me somehow. You, you just don't. have a hamster, a uh, hamster water, one of those oh hamster God, fucking one bottles of that's things. above just... your bed. So you're just pumping and just, and just <laughs> see. I never <laughs> see. I, I just, I never drink. I never drink water. That's dangerous. Yeah, that's why. That's that's, that's why. It's so look, look, I I see you that you're in the gym like three hours a day and shit. And you're just like, oh, why am I not getting bigger? You're just, you're dude. You just need to drink water. You're deflated. <laughs> nope. You just nah, need man. to drink you water. Li literally, and then your muscles will. Sh you'll get as big as Muscle Bob Buff Pants. Muscle like, Bob. Once you drink buff fucking water, you need to drink water or else your brain doesn't work. No, as you see, good. no, like, no, liter you guys, like you guys, literally. No, 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 no. You guys don't understand. You see, you guys just haven't figured it out yet. I've figured it out where. If you if you engage in insane exercise and you don't drink water, you get really close to death, and then it's like a Saiyan effect where it's like you get really close to like perishing, and then you come cool. back stronger. <laughs> that's exactly that's how it works. Could it possibly be? Could it possibly be that you think you're stronger because you're hallucinating? Because I'm is getting because my brain is getting damaged. <laughs> yeah, you, you're, you gotta you start gotta have a bunch of water nearby at all times, bro. All time. That's no, fine. <laughs> you see right next to me, bro. You see right next to me? It's a dildo. Now it's right next to me. It's a bottle of water. You see, always. Always at least one. Also, my bedroom's so hot that if I don't drink water, I'll die. So I have to drink water a lot, or else I won't be so, here. See, for so me, you gotta be in the I, desert, bro. For, I, have, be in the I desert. have a bottle of water. I have a bottle of water on the couch, and then I have uh uh uh, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles two for the NES next to me. That's that's and, sick. And these these give me these give me the strength that I need. Why do you have day that? Day. Why is that right there? I I I don't know. I think on Sacred <laughs> Symbols we were talking about because they they're remastering <laughs> it, and I went to grab it to show it. So and I just never took it off my desk. Oh okay. But 
the fucking <laughs> um I don't know, man. Oh yeah, the beard. The uh, if you if you look if you really really want a beard, if you're in fifth grade, maybe don't do this. <laughs> but <laughs> generally, if you want a beard, uh, there are ways to just do that for yourself. Apparently, apparently now that's like not fiction. So if you're curious about what you would look like with a beard, like go fucking try it out. I I don't know. I've always been curious about it, but it just takes too long for mine to grow in. Because mine grows in like uh like uh oh my god, what's the fucking Ugh, it's not mutton chops exactly, but it's kind of like that. Where, it, like, it comes in like that at first, and then, like, over the course of, like, four months, it'll fill in. But it's like, I, I can't look like a fucking trucker, like an emaciated trucker for that long. It's just not worth it. Yeah, I can't stand it. No, I, I get my it. Face hair, my face hair comes in really patchily, and then, like, at, like, month four... It looks nice, and I'm like, I can't give four months. I'm yeah, but you have to like look like an derelict. asshole for like three I look straight like a months. Derelict for fucking months, dude. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I just said grass is greener, though. You know, like I say, like, I, I might can't, shave my head I bald can, and grow my beard. All I out. can do is just get a little shade. And 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 guys, uh, like, let me tell you how much genetics play into this because you see that there's people, uh, like, say for example, um, um, I when I got like really sick. Uh, last year or whatever and then my fucking my hormones like my testosterone like crashed like crazy and I went to a clinic and I got on TRT to stabilize my levels and stuff never figured out exactly what happened in particularly but that's beside the point but when you get on TRT or you boost up your testosterone levels your hair should grow it should grow just like say I know somebody uh, it was actually I got introduced through a shoe on head um, one of her friends this fucking New Yorker that is a trans man, fucking full oh, yeah, yeah. beard. Yeah, I think uh, I think his name's Derek. Derek too, isn't his Derek? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I think his name's. I was like, wait a minute, he has the same name. And uh, yeah, like I wouldn't have known. This is like a regular fucking some fucking guy from New York that you know likes to yeah. hit women and fucking go to baseball games or something. Let's this is what go. he looks like. I just, <laughs> just, just so I'm like, Forget I would have known. It, you know? Nice. <laughs> nice fucking beard and shit and i'm just like all right so i've been on this trt shit for a minute and i'm like where's my beard bro where where's my beard i don't i i just think that i'm cursed i'm just cursed with uh, my genetics are just too well it's or i, I have know, to take it's... it a ridiculous level i feel like because i'm not taking those type of levels otherwise you would see me like shirtless all the time i'll just be like oh it's hot it's like in the winter and i'm like it's so hot and i just be fucking just jacked i'm, I'm taking, i'm yeah, yeah. testosterone too fucking like what's the worst gonna happen to me I just I get I look I look like a wall look more like a wall than I do like what's the worst that can happen? <laughs> I mean if you just take within the limits of a normal oh, range, not. which absolutely. is the white no, spectrum. No 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 no. Oh wait, what do you want? Like you want like uh like so you can the total the total levels like the highest you should ever go is like say around eleven hundred twelve hundred oh, at least That's, three thousand like, at least three thousand <laughs> at least bro at least I wanna. Dude, that's I what wanna... all those all those. <laughs> Fucking you would pro- front- that is oh, least, that is so least. insane. That was that's like that's that at that level. Like I feel like your cum would overflow into your lungs and drown you. Like that is such an insane <laughs> I'd be, amount I'd of be, testosterone. I'd be more cock than man, and it'd be hilarious. I, would, I mean, I would hard be- rods, hard rods for sure. Um, the cool thing is though, it's also natural. Um, it's a natural uh, anti. Uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Depressant? Not. Uh, sper- it, k- it kills your sperm. It the turns your sperm production off. You still fucking like you, you, you your 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 semen. Everything's fine, but you just if you try to have a kid while you're on testosterone, good luck. So it's actually pretty awesome if you're tr- if you want to make sure you're not trying to have a kid. So let's see, more energy, more strength, more cardiovascular fucking like uh, capacity. Um, uh, spermicide essentially. Yeah. It's like <laughs> what what is plus why is this a bad is. thing? Plus, no, I, I don't know. Man. At, at least, least it, it, it could t- be what, uh, uh-huh. it you. It could be like because I I feel bad for the people who both can't grow beards and who look terrible without. That's them. true. Like that. That is a like if you have like a leafy chin, you know, like or, or like one of those like the turkey turkey, you know. Turkey, <laughs> exactly. turkey time. I, yeah, no, 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 not Turkey Tom. I'm no, talking like, about like, like the, 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 the the fucking the jiggly shit. How do you get that? I wonder because I'm, 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 that, I'm, I'm, so apparently, I'm chunky apparently that, and I don't have it, which is even crazy. So I think so. Uh-huh. A, apparently, and I did some research on this because I, I also, for some reason, was very curious about this. But apparently, it's like 
it's all to do with how you learn to breathe when you're a baby. Because it's not actually all that genetic necessarily. Like there is like there's genetic capacity there. Like if you have like if you if your mom and dad have strong jaws, you might you you have the capacity for a strong jaw. But if you breathe wrong as a baby and like leading into a, uh, adulthood and like so development, like, you it'll be like, it'll, like it'll if get you're fucked a mouth up. Breather, actually, if you're a mouth breather, yeah. If you breathe through your mouth, I don't know how. Apparently, don't know that's how you, what does how it. How do you how do you like how do you become I don't know a mouth how that breather? How do you become a mouth breather though? By know, having fucked up uh, sinuses, I have a fu- I have fucked sinuses, dude. Like not, not that fucked. If you can breathe through your nose, I you have know what I mean. Fucked sinuses to the point that I had when I was learning, like when I was exercising, I had to learn how to properly breathe to run, which a lot of people don't people don't know that's true at all. But I had to learn how to breathe correctly, like like in my through my nose and then like out in spurts through my mouth. And I was like, my professor was like, "You have pretty bad sinuses, but you have good lungs." So you're able to deal with this. You're gonna have trouble, obviously. But you yeah, can you can deal you with this. Hold your breath a lot when you're fucking gobbling cock. I hold my. You I know, used like, to be able to hold breath for like three minutes, bro. Then yeah, my head damn. would start burning. That shit's wild. Like, the head burn is crazy. You get head burn what when are you, you talking hold your about? breath too long. Your head starts to burn. Like in your head burns. See, I've never held my breath for that like, long. <laughs> I I did it for like I did it one time for like two minutes. And I started feeling because what happens is you're, they teach you how like when you hold your breath a long time, they teach you that certain things are going to happen and it's fine. You can just breathe and you'll be able to get through it at a certain point because people can do like eight minutes and other shit like that. But when I did it for three minutes, my brain started burning. Yeah, oh, you're probably no. on the verge of passing out. Did what, did you kill like like a hundred? What what happened to this guy? <laughs> Oh no! So I, <laughs> I'm sorry. I I just got a, a Twitter notification. So I there's this complete tangent, <laughs> complete tangent. But there's this game that's uh, coming out in the next. I think in February for a PlayStation called Forspoken. Yeah, with a black girl. And it's got, and it's I don't know. Yes, yeah, that magical black uh, girl. She's light. Oh, I didn't even realize it was a black. But yeah, she's light skin. I didn't I didn't think about it really. But oh. She there it's it's it looks cool, but there are trailers of the dialogue specifically that sound really, really cringe inducing. It's like very, very it's like what you would assume someone would joke about a Marvel movie being. It's like, oh, he's right behind me, isn't it? It's like that kind of like writing in the trailer. And it's been this meme for the last day or two where it's just like people like because uh, the lines are like, uh, so, OK, so let me get this straight. I'm not exactly where uh, somewhere I would call Earth. Uh, I'm seeing dragons and I'm talking to a fucking ghost or like something like that. It's like and I did like my own edit of a God of War trailer like that. It's like, whoa, I'm fucking I'm not exactly where I would call Athens and I'm talking to my son and fucking Cory Barlog, the director of God of War, just fucking retweeted it. to. You just retweeted it? <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's funny. Which is confusing <laughs> because, I mean, they're in the same family of studios and this is clearly making fun of that other game. So it's like, I mean, a why little, not? A little weird. I mean, I guess I mean, it isn't good fun. Especially still. since he's not the, the, the director of uh, Ragnarok right now. He probably has more uh, freedom That's to true. Yeah, yeah. do whatever. He could, he, could, he, could, he could say a little shit. Yeah. I was not expecting that. <laughs> That means those devs are gonna see it. I'm sorry if you're developing for Spoken. I'm sorry. It's just it's just it's cringy dialogue. What's it is. So I'm probably gonna play your game and I'm probably gonna play your game in J- like with a Japanese dub if that's available or something just to get What's through. What's so it, crazy is that there <laughs> is Omaewa. like one of my favorite games has such ridiculously cringy dialogue, but they they somehow did it in a way that it's not the worst. Which is like Devil May Cry. Devil May Cry has ridiculous dialogue. It's so Devil May Cry. I I just went through uh, one through three, but it's good. uh, (laughs) Well, Devil Devil May Cry is it's not good at all. Really, Devil May Cry. No, Devil May Cry three particularly. No, no, I mean the I mean the the dialogue. Devil May Cry three is fun. The dialogue it, it finally becomes like yeah fun and less. The first two, especially the first a one, little holy too serious. Shit. It takes stuff a little too serious. Uh, <laughs> it's a little too serious. I forgot how uh, I forgot how bad the di- I forgot how bad just the the dialogue was and everything. But I will say the game just went off the rails in three. Even though that's the funnest one, 
That's the one that I Flight had like dope. replay value Flight's like dope. a bunch of times on PS2. But that's when Dante every five seconds is screaming woo and wahoo and shit like he's fucking Mario and Mario 64. He's having a fucking that's- jamboree. Because to him, but, uh, killing these demons So is what lit. happened to him, though? <laughs> so, like, the one and two, right, are, are after, sequels, and then three's after. a prequel. Yeah, I know. So what happened to Dante to where he's, like, he's not having fun anymore? <laughs> his brother went His brother went to hell, bro. Remember that part? <laughs> his brother <laughs> fell into hell? His brother fell into hell, and he was like, damn, son. Yeah, that's a good point. I got this big titty bitch about near me, ugly- though. We talk about ugly Sparta is like he's fucking like he's a, that's an ugly <laughs> man. That's an ugly Sp- demon dude. Why you shit on Sparta like that, bro? He like wh- why did what did what did he? Did, I feel like he didn't like who would what woman would see that demon thing and be like, yeah, that is a hot man. As a, I, I, I wanna, as a I wanna, human, he's not why, a ugly. He's not a good looking guy. He's not a good looking <laughs> human at all. He's just there's just nothing about him that anyway. I'm, I'm getting I'm totally off the. <laughs> You're, you're I just started playing it because I want to. I um I never uh I took my time and and now I, I've never beaten four. I try to play it twice and then I'm like I'm working up to it so then I can play five. Five is the um, shit, bro. Five is so good. I've heard nothing but good things about five and I've just it's just been sitting. I'm playing everything. I'm finally I'm finally backlogging stuff. I, I'm actually working on um I stopped playing Devil May Cry and I started playing uh Ash Creed Valhalla. And uh, I don't know what's up with the optimization with fucking. I think it might be even be Ubisoft Connect's thing because it's their own app right now, and that game has crashed like fifteen times for me at least. Dude, I, Ubisoft is so bad with optimization; it's in, it's insane. I like, just it, and it's, my, go ahead. Sorry, no, no, no. Yeah, go ahead. It's it's just it really is just I, I don't I can't think of a Ubisoft game that I've played on PC that has been even remotely stable. Ubisoft, Dude, I I I have to. I'm being forced to upgrade. My PC is old. My PC is like old, and it's the optimization. It it. Let's put it this way: my characters look pretty good. The world looks like PlayStation One. That's how I have to optimize the game. It, I, there's no other option. It's it's there's no other option for me. And I'm like, okay, I can play. Uh, I don't know. I like I played Doom Eternal, and it looked great. Looked, yeah, and it's a fucking fat game. It's like eighty gigs or something. Played it fine. For some reason, my PC is screaming playing Valhalla, and fucking the world. I'm t- I'm telling you, if I show you a screenshot, it looks like PS One fucking environment, <laughs> just so it can run smoothly enough. And I'm like, okay, I'll rather have good looking armor and characters than the world looking nice because I I have to trade off. Now it is my fault. I need to upgrade my fucking my my GPU is kind of what's shit. your GPU? Um, it's it's pretty old. I can't even remember the number right now, but it's just like I have like basically three gigs to work with. Oh lord! And so I can't. My opt. It's old. That it's, boy, uh, it's Now Wait, the thing is, is that, is, a, is that um, it's, it's a it's a I forgot which number of GTX is. Is that a is that a nine eighty? I can't. I I would have to pull it up right now because I had a nine eighty for a long time. Uh, it might be it might be actually above that it might be a 10 something i it's been a long time since i looked at it because i don't even i bought it so long ago i don't even remember that boy a relic i respect uh, whatever it it's it's one of the early tens of something and so i'm pretty far behind and i basically i'm being forced the, the, i had such a bad experience playing this game <laughs> that like now here's the thing i want to be fair to i want to be fair to fucking um ass creed where the options that they have in the game to where you can play the game because a lot of people complain about like say there's just too much this there's too much that like if you put it on like exploration mode and put it on very hard difficulties and stuff where the AI is not completely stupid it's actually really fun I was actually having fun with it like if you put the difficulty because you can you can not only toggle the the damage difficulty but also the stealth difficulty which I thought was a pretty cool distinction because yeah. usually the the stealth are just completely just you know, the people are on the spectrum. They're just they're not they're not paying attention to nothing. You literally it's, walk it's, in front. <laughs> yeah, in it's, front it's not it's <laughs> it's like, not a oh? it, it's it's not a great it's not really a true stealth game. Uh, but in the you know, I will say like I I just to the credit. No, I could go on this this game's fucking. I've been playing this game. I'll say I've been playing the game for thirty six hours, and I have one set of armor. This is all fucking shit the game is. Like, the fact that, like, you can't just get armor, you're raiding and pillaging shit, and you can't pick up people's stuff, 
And it's just that it completely optimized to make you want to buy stuff from the store. And so that's why Ubisoft can suck my dick. Uh, you know that, is my, that is my review. <laughs> you know what's wild, too? It's like... It's... I didn't even think about this until recently, but the fact that I am so cynical about video games now really makes me sad because I actually like most of the things that I used to play. You know mm. what I mean? Like most of the time, like if I'm playing a game, I like something about it. Like right. even if it's not like, like I remember playing Assassin's Creed for like a while and I remember playing Black Flag and I was like, uh, oh, you know, I, I uh, this pirate stuff isn't necessarily for me, but like this is a decent game. I'm not going to finish it, but like it's not bad. Mm. But like what people describe as like recent Assassin's Creed games, it seems like really rough and I, I don't know. Like, I want it. Part of me is like, oh, I should go back. I should try. Part of me is like, oh, I should try Far Cry 6, you know? And uh, like all of these things. Because I feel like I would like it, but I just. Uh, I don't know. Here's, you know, so an bloated. there's an interesting thing that happened to me where uh, Black Flag was always my favorite Assassin's Creed. And I went back and played it after playing Odyssey. And a thing that I, I, had, I had to admit to myself, like, I had more fun playing Odyssey than Black Flag. And I was like, that that's fucking crazy. Because everything that I liked about Black Flag, the only thing was the Navy combat was is different. The Navy combat is shit in fucking Odyssey because it's just spears instead of having cannons and mortars and shit. So, and you can, you know what I'm saying? So, it's totally different. But yeah. everything I, else the only was... Thing I, the only thing what? I don't like about Black Flag is that you have to be really careful when you say that name really quick. But I, but generally speaking, it's a decent game, uh, from what I can remember. <laughs> it it's still fun. I still I played it like a couple years ago. Um, I, I just I don't know how I, you can play. It. I, I don't just, know how you can do it. Every Assassin's Creed game for me feels like I'm doing nothing. It feels like a series of you didn't me like doing you nothing. didn't like Assassin's you didn't like Assassin's Creed two. That was a no, good story. I did not. Come on, I played Assassin's Creed one when it came out, and I was like, oh, this is kind of ass. And you know what? I played instead of that for one hours. Is, really? You know what? Really? I played that instead of hours. I, I mean, played it Halo is three. Ass, but like, <laughs> I played Halo three. I was okay. like, oh, I, well, fuck come this on, game. I understand. <laughs> completely <but> different <laughs> genres, bro. There's, 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 that is completely so different. I was playing, and that yeah. t- at that time I was playing. I was playing. Dead Space, I was playing Halo 3, I was playing fucking Dragon Age Origins, because Origins was around that time, and it was the lit- most lit thing ever. I was playing fucking uh, Gears around that time, as I was playing Gears. It's just that Assassin's Creed was fun, but there- just nothing about it made me want to stay playing the game. I I remember being impressed by Assassin's Creed 1, not necessarily because it was fun to play, but because it looked really impressive. Like, the, the fact that... Like, if... There was something unique about it that I didn't see in most other that videos. Was one of the first right. open, open I, felt, I felt the exact same way. It was, yeah, it was but the, it's it was not the first open open world game I really experienced like that, and I admit that that was the first time in a game I felt like, oh, I yeah. can go anywhere that I can see for the most part, you know. And I did that because because it because it it was before. I mean, there were like loading screens, and obviously this is like a three sixty game, but uh, because it was before Grand Theft Auto four. Like, it was a full year. Because right, I remember uh, right. Assassin's Creed was 2007, and that, right. that's what was so big. I was like, wow, this is kind of insane that this is possible. Um, and then Grand Theft Auto 4 came out, and it was like, oh, okay, well, I guess this is just yeah. kind of... Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But the but the story... The, I thought the story in 2 was... I like Ezio I like Ezio as a character. I, think I thought it was cool. I thought it was cool in the story he came back in, right? And I was, he was back in... Um, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Like Brotherhood or some shit. And I was like, oh, Ezio yeah, again. I didn't play um, also. I didn't play I didn't play Revelations because I was like, okay. I, right, I he's too he's it, just it, too old. You're like, I get it. <laughs> I no, I, get I, it. I think I think because I played Assassin's Creed 2 and I was like, this is great. Like I actually really I think Assassin's Creed 2 is genuinely a real like from a story perspective, that is a really good video game. I don't I don't agree. Assassin's Creed I don't I think it's Fun. I think it's fun and it's cool. I would never say very good. I would say like, oh, that's it's, a very good video game. I would not, Chris. I, don't. I wouldn't say it's like. I wouldn't say it's like a top fifty. Chris, but like, it's a good. It's, you it's, you don't like it's a solid, solid game. I, it's this solid. Guy's saying like, it's solid. This guy's like, the the fucking acting in uh, in Devil May Cry is stupid, but it's it's great. It's, no, no, it's, it's stupid. No, 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 no. Devil May Cry is stupid. And it should be cringe, but it doesn't come off as cringe because of how much fun that game is, you know? Like, there, everyone is aware that they're a joke. Like, is Virgil, Virgil, 
is is in on the fact that he's like a hard ass bitch. And then is he? Dante knows that he's a fucking loser. Like Dante does something cool and then he gets hit by a car afterwards. And it's like fuck, dude. He's I feel like, like Virgil damn. is every like anime meme that you see when that guy <laughs> is holding the sword. He literally yeah, like, is. Like, he's like, but those people think he's they think they're cool. Though. I think those I think, think Virgil's cool. sick as fuck. I think Virgil is That's cool. The- <laughs> Virgil that explains cool. why you don't like Assassin's Creed 2. No, 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 no. I think <laughs> Virgil just... I think Virgil is cool, but Virgil is cool because of how sick his fighting is, not because of him. He's his like, I need more power. So... He's so he fights You're like lying. he literally fights You're like he lying. should be wearing a fedora. You're lying. He fights... That's Dude, crazy. He's so... Derek, he look, fights look, look, look. like he, he <laughs> thinks he's a gentleman samurai. That's how he fights, and it's so cringy. Dude, like look. he should be wearing a fedora and have a neck beard. Like he only has a beard right here. <laughs> <laughs> look, just, look, I know we're all gonna go around the table <laughs> just I, disagreeing with what each other thinks is a good game. <laughs> Unless we're talking about Mass Effect, we're just not gonna all agree. That's just where we that's, exist. But that's beautiful though. I like that. I like that. I like that though. Because it'd be boring if we're all just like everything is good and I like Halo. I like Halo bad. 4 a lot. I like Halo 5. Yes, very good. What about you, Christopher? Well, in fact, I do love Halo 5. <laughs> Would Assassin's Creed 2 be good to you if Ezio was voiced by Keith David? Oh, well, hey, that's not fair. I'm an, it- I'm an Italian. I'm an Italian. I'm an, I'm an, Ita- I'm an Italian. <laughs> the, least, <laughs> the most clearly black man in the world. Like, Leonardo, I'm an I need Italian. your help. I need your help, Leonardo. I, There's very yeah, many I, things. I Can know. you make me a new a new hidden blade? <laughs> hey, I, I am I an would, Italian. I, I'll, fully, I'll, fully admit that, I'll fully admit that it's been a very, 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 very long time since I've played Assassin's Creed 2. Right. Um, it's very possible that it's aged you poorly. You should play but it. Like, you should I, play it again. It's always worth playing those games I've, again. I've, I've, been, I've been thinking about it. Just because, especially now, because I feel like they don't really make that game anymore. You know what I mean? Like, it, like mm. at the time, at that time, around Revelations, that game was fucking everywhere. That, like, open world kind of Grand Theft Auto clone. Like, there were a ton of them. Like, right. there were a lot of them. Now, it feels a little bit more novelty. And I just, I remember that story being, like, very, very compelling. And I remember liking Ezio a lot. I remember liking Brotherhood a lot and thinking that multiplayer was actually really unique and interesting. Mm. And and Brotherhood was short too. That's what I liked about Brotherhood. It wasn't it was a like, long oh, game. Yeah, I remember it being short. Brotherhood Brotherhood was like really digestible. Was Brotherhood and it was with like a, Unity? Again, Did those two come out at the same time? No, no. Unity came out in 2015. One of them it came, came out. out. You could buy you could buy it with the Xbox One actually. Okay. You well, you're Xbox thinking of S. yeah. You're thinking of I think Liberation and Bloodline and something else because Liberation was the one with the the girl assassin and that was on. PS Vita, I think. Or... I think. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. No, wait, 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 wait. No, was wait. This syndicate? happened twice. There was one that came no, out. No, it two was. Of it them. was. It was. It was Rogue and Syndicate. Right. Because Rogue was on 360 and PS3, and Syndicate, I think, was on. I'm sure somebody in the comments will like clear this up. But like, uh-huh. they, Rogue I was know, the last know... one. I think that was on the those old console. The last gen consoles. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's it's which, something like that. I heard that one was really good, but I pe- I played like ten minutes of it. I just I was kind of yeah. burnt out at that point. Yeah, at, um, at that point, like once once Revelations came out, I was like, all right, like I I liked Assassin's Creed two a lot. I really liked Brotherhood, but they were also very much the same type of game, <laughs> like exactly. And so when the third, when Ezio was like, "Oh, it's the revelations," I was like, "I think I'm, I think I've seen enough." I, uh, I this. think like, I've I'm, seen I'm, I'm good. Like, it was like a Pokemon situation where it's like, I, I, I think I get it. I'm, I've got my fill of this. I'm, I'm good. And then Assassin's Creed Three came out, and I was like, "Ooh, Colonial America! That seems like a really cool fucking setting." And then you played Assassin's Creed Three, and it was terrible. God, they fumbled was that so, shit so hard. I was so bummed Which was too because I was Native like, American was that was that three? Yeah, that that was that was oh, three. That's and the one everybody was hyped for. I remember everybody being like, "I know this one's because be cool. it, it is so hard because that is such a cool fucking like that idea is awesome." Assassin's Creed as, as like a fucking like a Native American assassin like in colonial America when everything's like getting sick. That is awesome. And they fumbled it so hard. And what's so sad about it is that it's not even like horrifically bad. It's just disappointing. It's yeah. like that. Yeah. That intro, like I beat that whole thing. Oh, I, I God, played that whole game. intro. I'm getting PTSD, you bro. Beat the intro, three. How, I did, beat three. how did you do that? I beat three. How did you guys? I beat three. Dude, well, I played, well, Kingston, I played Kingston, three. Kingston, Look. Kingston, Kingston, Kingston. <laughs> I had, I, this was when I was, this was when I had maybe 
I had no job. If I bought a game, I had to finish I it res- because that was the I game. Respect that. that was all I had. I respect that because, uh, like, for me, it was, I, it was- I played three, <laughs> and as soon as like I got like a really dumb assignment to kill some guy that was like forty five feet away from me, and I just walked up to him and just. I was like, this is dumb. I'm not playing this game anymore. This is stupid. And I t- turned it off. For me, for, for me, it was the intro when you played it as his yeah, dad as his... for six hours. Yep. <laughs> you, you had to be, you had to be, you had to be a fucking uh, young Connor or whatever his name too and all this shit. I'm like, I can't do this. Yeah. I, when, when they do shit like that, it makes me want to just lose my fucking mind. I almost checked out of uh, Valhalla because the first like 10 minutes or whatever, you're being the little Eivor. And you're going around. It's setting up the story, and I'm like, I'm about to turn this off. I but can't. I couldn't do like Valhalla. Nothing about nothing about but, Valhalla excited me at all. I looked at that game and I was like, Ah, no. Yeah, if you're if you're not into like Norse shit, there's literally zero reason to play. I'm it. into Norse shit, like, but say, I'm, I'm I'm really not into how Assassin's Creed does history. I'm really not well, into it's, it. I, it's, I, it's I think very, it's kind of cute. It's very yeah, like the whole like. The spin on shit. That, these I don't are care, aliens. I don't even care. The, these are aliens. They're not guys. No, 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 no. <laughs> that's that's stupid. These are aliens. That's dumb. Ra- Ra- Robin I- Tut and all these other <laughs> fucking gods. Anubis. I know Anubis. He lives forty five paces away. It's like no, that's so stupid. <laughs> he lives. He lives on three hundred eight Negro Royal Lane. <laughs> like, I, look, I I understand. <laughs> I get it. Right. Like, th- there's a lot of stupid things about his but I I don't know. I, I think the like Leonardo da Vinci like making your flop fly, fly. That, I think that's but cool. That's like that's cool. like a yeah. neat. No, that was cool. And and why wasn't uh Benjamin Franklin? Why didn't he do that? In he was three? too busy hitting like, black people. Not- they, he was too they, busy he finally believed. hitting black people. <laughs> 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 he was too busy <laughs> hating the fact they they're real. What? <laughs> <laughs> He fucking discovered electricity to fry niggas, man. He was like, I got to do something about these he people. He made every person that hold the kite a black person. Every person that held the kite during the thunderstorm was a black person. And they were like, they Mr. all got electrocuted and he took the and credit And he for laughed it. and rolled on the floor, tickled pink, and went and fucked the black girl. Because his current family is black people. Isn't that hilarious? His ancestors are black. Like his current Have descendants are black. That's so fucking funny. Uh yeah. <laughs> Have you seen that picture of um Benjamin Franklin and Chris Chan side by side? Stop. It's pretty interchangeable. Stop. It's it's pretty That's astonishing. So scary. I'm That's working so on it. I'm working on it. <laughs> What's up with the electricity? I'm working on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working. On- oh my god. Someone please someone please draw Christian as Benjamin Franklin turning around to like his dad. It's saying I'm working on it, tying like the kite to the uh, the key to the kite. That's so I wanna- <laughs> fucking funny. That, that needs is to so be uh, funny. <laughs> I love that. That does need to be real. It needs to be Benjamin. Did you did you figure out electricity yet? I'm working on it. <laughs> I think um, I don't know. I, I I would be I would be surprised to hear that uh, Assassin's Creed Two was a bad game. You know what I mean? Like that would surprise me, but yeah. whatever. I guess uh, it just I don't know, yeah. We'll see. I'm sure it's not bad. It's just the aging it, that is probably gonna be a problem since I had the same issue with Black Flag. I had the same thing where I played it years later and I'm like, oh, it's not as enjoyable as I remembered it. But it's just because... yeah, it's definitely there's no way it's going to be as fluid. That's for right. sure. Like the, so, the, like a lot of those old games are really rigid, right. but I don't know. I've been playing a lot of some, old some stuff. Ga- lately. Some games age well. Like there's. There's every now and then there. Well, I feel like mostly SNES and prior games age the best. It's because of the way they look. That nature of 16 bit and like 8 bit, they they just they age well. It's kind of how it works. No, I agree. I agree with that. But like, I agree with that. Yeah, every now not, and then there's a, there's a the Mass eyes. Effect or like a or like a it is, Dragon Age. It is you know, um, that it's like oh, this is still a good game technically. <laughs> it, it it is still harder. Like still to this day, it is harder to make good pixel art. Than it is to make a good looking 3D game, and that's wild. I cannot believe that. Like I, I, I I've, I've been told well, that because, directly by animators that I know, and I still can't believe something like that. Well, it, it's it's because pixel art. There's like a there's like a lot because I could I could make me with no experience. I could sit in like Unreal Engine 
and make the hallway from PT look really, really convincing. Like, I could do that, like, from scratch. I could do it. Like, I know how to work the engine enough. And I didn't go to school for this shit. It's not my job or nothing. I'm not, like, fluent in Unreal or anything. But, like, when me and iBlind were fucking around with Unity and all these different game engines, our first thing was, like, oh, let's do a horror game because that's easy. And it was. Like, because it's all just walking and, like, atmosphere and shit. And as long as you, like, set up lights in a specific way and you get the right textures and you get, like, the right resolution, your, your shit's looking golden no matter what you do to it. But, like, pixel art, that's, like, handcrafted. You have to look at, like, you have to understand, like, color theory in a specific way. You have to know, like, okay, this is how this looks. Because pixel art, like, pixel, um, what do you call, sprites up close, like, blown up look like shit. Oh, yeah, of course. So, so you have to think about, like, when you're making these things, you have to think about, like, oh, this looks like shit while I'm working on it, but when it's far away where it's supposed to be, it'll look amazing. And then you have to animate within that framework, and it's, like, it's a lot, it's a lot more fucking complicated than, like, setting up a motion capture rig to, like, a 3D model and just saying, like, hey, can you crouch so I can record that and put it in? It's, it's a whole different ball game, and a lot of those games do look great still because of that. Because it's still a difficult thing to do. That's why so many of the pixel art games that come out now are are fucking gems. That's true. Fucking Celeste is awesome, and see. Dead Cells is fucking great. That sounds like and a good like game. all of these, very solid. Yeah, not that you know. I, again, I'm, I'm sure it's really difficult to make <laughs> Assassin's Creed by yourself as well. Do you imagine <laughs> one guy, one guy sweating <laughs> his mind out, <laughs> just. <laughs> I don't know. Hasn't stood up but, in uh, weeks. One thing, I do want to talk about this uh, <laughs> this Trump uh, <laughs> FBI raid. But first, uh, because I forgot to mention it at the top of the show, if you if you listen to this show on Spotify or free feeds or stuff like that that, that aren't on YouTube, we've gotten some messages in the last uh, f- uh, several weeks about the first 20 or so episodes not being available on Spotify and iTunes for some reason. I want to let you guys know that that is now fixed. They are now available. So, like, if, if you were curious where the fuck the first several episodes of the Star Tank were, and you, or maybe you're, like, you're a new audience member who just kind of came in and want, you're wondering where the hell the intro is, they're there now. Uh, apologies for the weird... There's some weird shit with the podcast service that we use that we we only just figured out now, so... Uh, go no, back let's, and let's, watch let's those. Let's be candid. Let's those be, are good let's, episodes. Let's, let's be real about this. We had to scrub... The episode's clean of all of the N and F bombs. And yeah, we just yeah, yeah, that's what happened. We them. don't say the F. We didn't yeah. say, I don't think we said the F word that much. If, if not, uh, I've said it, the, we've said, we've, I, I mean, I have. I've said it, may, I've said the N bomb quite a bit, but that one I've said maybe, <laughs> I, maybe twice. Maybe. I can't stop saying, I say the F, I say the F thing every morning when I wake up and every night when I go to bed. So that was, <laughs> so, so yeah, so it was like 20 episodes, right? And uh, off the top of my head, I think at least it was like 400 N bombs and like about forty to fifty F slurs. Like I just had to clean up, but it was just like it wasn't. It didn't look good. Thousand F. <laughs> 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 it's just an episode of just nothing but Damn, that, bro. I want to put an episode like that out where it's just us saying a bunch of wild. Like one day, randomly on Patreon, I record myself and edit myself saying a bunch of wild shit, and then put it on oh, Patreon. Dude, like Patreon exclusive, free episode, and everybody's like, like, "Yo, Sweden's yeah, gone." I like it. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> people were saying that when i accidentally dropped the the hard r at the end of that one episode people were like oh could you unmute it for patreon and shit i was, I was like, like ah whatever no <laughs> like, nah, no because <laughs> someone's gonna take that sound clip edit it on to the end of the regular podcast and then just have it out there yeah. And they'll they'll be like, look, that was that was Chris Reagan. He said it. He said, I knew, I knew it was him. I, I knew, it. I knew he was racist. Fucking fucking right, oh right away piece of shit. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> right away. So what's oh, going on well. with Trump? He uh, he 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 um, he, his, he, his, he did uh, an insurrection his, in Mar-a-Lago or something. What happened? <laughs> yeah, his his Florida house got uh, seized by uh, I don't know. By some Tony Stark agency or some fucking shit. <laughs> they, the FBI raided Trump's house, and uh, I don't know exactly why. I haven't, been, I haven't been paying attention to be, to be frank with you. But I just thought the reaction to it was very funny because I saw all these things like, if the FBI can go after former presidents, they can go after any one of us. And it's like, yes, <laughs> you're next. That's that's like 
that's just such a weird that, the dumbest I, I, take I, ever it's so <laughs> insane like of course the fbi has always been able to go after you specifically yeah. that's what that's like their purpose and the idea that like oh even a former president isn't immune it's like you would want that like if a, if a, if if bill clinton was out there s- trafficking minors with andrew tate you know with, on, on, with. On, on the on on the lolita express you know and the fbi found that out about him you would want him to just be like oh well he's a former president it doesn't matter like why would like you and, and the takes about this have been so out like out of pocket they're fu- they're women's jeans fucking out of pocket it's fucking insane <laughs> hey, to me that is such that they a would fucking even good bother. good good one <laughs> it's it just <laughs> it just bothers me so deeply that people actually think this way. They, and but they don't, like, though. That's the thing. That's what's so disingenuous. <laughs> they but they, but see, no, they're saying this shit, but they don't believe it because if uh, Hillary Clinton or Bill Clinton or like uh, if Obama right now they busted into his home while like you know he was he uh, Bo was he was re, re, like resurrecting Bo, right? He dug up Bo and he's like doing some it's nuance shit. He's Bo. doing some dark <laughs> no, fucking Bo. necromancy. No, Bo they bust Obama. into his house. <laughs> and they arrest him for necromancy, right? They they get him. And then fucking all of those same people would be celebrating. They would be like, justice is being served. We love the FBI and all can this I, shit. Can I ask you you a know question? it's true can I ask you a that, like, if any of that stuff, that's why I'm like, you don't, they don't believe a fucking word they're saying. Like, the FBI is fucking corrupt and, oh, there's no justice. This can happen to you. And I'm like, it's just because, doesn't this just prove that how much of, like, of a cult this whole thing is? Oh, absolutely. Or, absolutely. That, that motherfucker can do no wrong. He can't do anything it's, wrong. It's he can steal cultish. shit. And they're like, oh, it's everyone else's fault. He can he can it's fucking he gay, can dude. military he can militarize a part of the American uh, politics political side and then have them attack the capital. But I mean, it's fine. Let me I have another. I have, I have to say, is necromancy Again. illegal yet, or it has to happen first <laughs> for it to become illegal? <laughs> necromancy. That's like, a good point. Like, I it, think- like it's it's not illegal yet. So like, if I can necromance, but I just haven't done it yet. And then one day I do it. The cops come in. What are you doing? I'm doing necromancy. They're like, that's against law. I'm like, no, it's not. In fact, there's no law for it yet. I'm safe I to do this. I think there's no law for it yet. Until you do something it- about this. Until you guys make a law about me necromancing, I'm going to keep bringing dead people back to life. So... <laughs> I mean, that's what they're working on. The FBI is putting a case together for Obama. <laughs> they're studying they're watching him closely because, but they haven't arrested him yet because he hasn't got it done yet. He's getting close though. He's crying. Uh, I'm, I'm figuring this out. He's crying. I think, He's I, think crying. I need to sacrifice a couple more kids. Uh, and, and, I, um, and Bo, I miss I you so much. If you were here, you'd be able to help so me. Much, I Bo. can't. I can't do this. I tried to sac. I was gonna sacrifice Michelle, but they know she's missing. I, I'll sacrifice the girls. I'll do anything to get you back, Bo. I I miss you, my friend. <laughs> who's gonna Who's gonna talk to me about drone strikes and and, and selling kids to billionaires, Bo? <laughs> Imagine Obama. Obama. <laughs> Obama is just son of Sam, and Bo is Sam. <laughs> Yes, that's that's <laughs> dude. That's so that's good. That's been it the that's whole so time. Good. That's been our joke literally uh, the whole time. It, it kind of has been. been. It kind of has it's been. <laughs> <laughs> Bo, hey, I what's, that Bo? You here. what's that, Bo? What's that, Bo? Bo, did you- Syria? <laughs> <laughs> right now, Bo. You- okay, Bo. You want me to? How many drones? <laughs> that's a lot of drones, Bo. That's a lot of Bo. That's a lot of drones, Bo. That's gonna cost I mean, the taxpayers you- a lot. Okay, woof, okay, woof, okay, woof, okay. Woof, I mean, if, I mean, if you, uh, I I'll mean, if it. you insist, that, if you insist that the kibble that uh, got you sick came from Syria, Bo, I guess I'll do what I have to do. <laughs> no one hurt. No one's hurting my favorite Bo. Obama, Bo. <laughs> Bo, that that is a that is a. That is a sixteen-year-old kid, uh, Bo. Are, are you oh, okay? Okay, okay. I won't argue with uh, that. Let me. Uh, oh, let, it's, uh, it's, let it's, me uh, it's fine, it's fine it. as long as I sell them. I'm not doing anything. Other people are doing it. I'm just making money. I'm, I'm, not, I'm the middleman. You're right, Bo. <laughs> let me be clear. <laughs> I think the thing is, it's like, yeah. If if it and here's the thing too. I want to make this very clear. Absolutely, do this for all of these people. Like, absolutely, like, I, I would love to see that report in the news, Hillary Clinton's house raided. Oh, my God. Yes. All of it. It would, it would make would me so crazy. happy. Because you doubt happen. All of it. Rescue all those kids that have been, uh, she's been hoarding because she drinks the blood of them. She drinks the blood of children while eating <laughs> uh, cheese pizza or some shit. Dude, something like that. I, w- if, <laughs> I wish they, I could do an impression that If could. they raided Hillary Clinton's house, 
some sort of flying apparition would come out while they're reading it. Something with wings find- would jump out of a window, <laughs> roar loud, and fly away. And you'll be like, oh my the god. FBI, <laughs> if the FBI raided if the FBI raided uh Hillary Clinton's estate, they would probably wind up in the back rooms at some point. Like I feel like that I feel like that's where she exists. Where all these like wire monsters are like just fucking like lit like or or there'd be like a There'd be like a sheet with like a like a goat head on it, and it would be like flying around. It's like what the fuck kind of place is this? <laughs> and it'd be and, and I don't it, know what's... and it'd be that guy from um what is it what is he from? He's like he's like from Wales or something like that. Like a soccer fan is like, hey guys, you got stuck here. You went to Hillary's house, I guess, huh? Don't touch anything. And then he would run off. Oh, and- uh- <laughs> oh, the, the the British guy in the back. Yeah, there's the one person in the back room is not hurting you is some British really intense football fan, and it's like, <laughs> wait, what is this? What is this? Logan and Jake Paul have now issued warnings to Andrew Tate. What is this? Oh no, oh, Logan Paul. They're beefing with them now. Oh my god, man, what is? Are they, are they like, trying to I act like? like to, uh, I would like to see them fight though. That'd be interesting. I feel bad for this. I feel bad for this guy, this Andrew Tate, who is just like a we- uh, like a weatherman at KTL. <laughs> Some regular guy. Some standard. And he's dude. just getting shat on like crazy. By fucking 16 guys, year olds calling him guys, everything. Guys, I'm a weatherman. I'm not trafficking people. I swear to you. Like, I. I, I barely make enough for my fucking studio apartment. Guys, my life is. <laughs> sure, rough. That's, what he, that's what he wants you to think. That's what he wants you to think. That's his cover. That's actually the real Andrew Tate. And that the other guy's just a he's a he's a puppet. He that he's charismatic, <laughs> he's good looking. That's not the real Andrew Tate. You got you gotta look deeper. You gotta look a lot deeper and and uh give me money. And, <laughs> you gotta uh, give me money. And, and and buy my supplements because I'm getting fucking sued. And Sandy Hook. <laughs> and uh <laughs> Sandy Hook is still fucking fake. I, I was just kidding. Bro, did you I'm, see I'm sure if you watch his shit, yo, yo, he's probably saying that to bro, the T. Did you like, see? I'm, did you see that his fucking defendant emailed his prosecuting lawyer all of his text messages from two years yes. that yes. shit had me how does that happen we- i was i turned into a pelican well, dude, and i was laughing this- when i heard that i was i, I this- was i was losing it <laughs> bro at this point i'm kind of on like the side of like because i imagine alex jones is like well this is obviously um th- these people are against me and stuff and at this point i'm like he probably was. His lawyer was probably sick of Alex Jones's shit and was like, fuck this guy and just fucked him over. Because how does that happen? How do you accidentally send? I almost feel like it wasn't an accident. He probably was like, oh, I'm going to you're this is they made an agreement. You're going to pay me this much money to, to be a lawyer. And then at the end of the day, Alex Jones said, no, this is uh, this is fucking pro bono. This is, this is pro bono, right? You're doing this like he's some shit like uh. He gets paid if he wins or some shit like that or some try. And he's like, fuck this. I'm just fucking him over. Fuck this guy. Because I don't know how you'd be that incompetent to I've never accidentally emailed somebody anything. Look, because you have to you have to put in. Yeah, it's such a it's such a process to like I've never sent anything accidentally. on Emailing is so much more work than it than a text is. It's wild. Than a text or something. Right. That's like that's like mailing something accidentally. It's like, like, oh, (laughs) that's like that's like if you picked up if you if you were like carrying your baby to the kitchen. Right. And you're like, oh, I got to feed my baby. And then you like did some weird like Looney Tunes slip all the way to the post office. The baby falls, falls in a box, and then someone trip, and then someone signs and then, and, it up, pulls no, no, it up, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then and then you trip and sign it away, and then it's like <laughs> it's like that is the amount of things that has to go wrong for you to email it's, something it's, accidentally it's, is staggering. It's like the guys, you know the funny it's like is? the guys that cheat, and it's like he was on the toilet using a bathroom, and then she flipped, she slipped onto his dick while he was on the toilet. It's like. What? That doesn't yeah, happen. Crazy stuff. That's not how that works, <laughs> yeah. dude. That's not. That's not. Hey, man, you. You were doing multi- something. <laughs> there's yeah, enough multiverse. Not an accident. There's enough multiverses to where in one universe that actually did happen. In one of them. <laughs> that, is that a, is that a <laughs> bad universe or a good universe? Like, dude, which kind is? Is that like? Well, I don't think I don't think there's any like there there is no good or bad. It's just. In that there's so, just somehow that actually but there, happened. But there's good or like bad this guy endings, was, though, you know? Like, that's like, good think or about bad this. Look, so, so let's think about this, though. This guy, was he went into the women's bathroom like a fucking pervert to go jack off because that's how he gets off, right? Okay, okay. And then a fucking chick was like, 
uh, like a, a, a she, she was like, oh man, I got to piss so bad. And she busted in without even looking to like, she just had to sit there and she sat on the guy's dick. And, and the guy came at the same time she sat on his dick. But see, like, and there's so many universes that in one of those universes that actually happened. You know what I mean? It's kind of like the Earth being populated with humans and shit. It, there's so many planets on in the universe itself that yeah, random shit enough came occurred she for us the, to she actually kicks have the life. Door and so imagine kicks the door in backwards, takes her pants down, slams on the toilet. Yeah. It's Slim. a penis there. Or no, or, what, a, or what happened is to make the guy not a bad a pervert because, you know, we don't we don't want to okay. have an objectively bad character. So what happens well, I'm is trying to think of how, okay, give me the scenario. She, he uses the bathroom, right? Right. While he's in the bathroom, he takes a very, very forceful poop, kind of sad, kind of, you know, stimulating his prostate, therefore erecting his penis, okay? Afterwards... A woman who is so frantically needs to use the bathroom, she assumes she has her glasses are a little foggy. She assumes the male bathroom is the female bathroom. So she goes, she runs into the bathroom. She sees there's urinal. She's like, oh, I guess she doesn't, she doesn't pretend to urinal. She just quick runs by, kicks the door backwards, slams on guy's dick. Guy comes immediately. Woman <laughs> pees on guy. Now what happens? What happens at that moment? No, and no one's at fault exactly, right? He didn't do that on purpose. So yeah. now it's it's, so, it's it's up in the air situation. It's, so in that in that <laughs> moment, do you tell your significant other that because it was just an accident? Do you even tell them? Because there's no way you can explain that away <laughs> as a real accident. From from personal experience, there was one time where I was at somewhere with my girlfriend, and something wild happened that it, that like it was it wasn't I didn't do anything. And it okay, wasn't it wasn't yeah. the most insane thing ever, but it was wild enough that like I tried to rationalize it and I had a panic attack because I knew no one would believe me. If okay, I wasn't there if I wasn't there with other people who saw what happened, I would have just moved back to New York. <laughs> like at this Are you talking about are you, are you talking about what I think you're talking about? Which one? Did we t- like when you were on the couch uh are you and, gonna tell uh, the story or no? No, it's, it's give me, give me, give me cliff notes of it real quick, Chris. Because wasn't it oh wasn't so, it wasn't so that it, like Lily was in the same room and then somebody did something that like could be misconstrued as like is that yes. what you're talking about? Yes, I don't remember. I don't remember the specifics. Were you of there? It. You weren't there for it, right? I wasn't there for yeah. it. You just told and me, and I it. that I'm not gonna say what happens. I don't want to name names and I don't want to say things. You could just name fake names. So, I, I was, I was, yeah. I was at, I was so at Obama. A, I was at, a, I was at, Obama's I was at a house. place. And uh, uh, a person that I knew gave me a kiss on the cheek and a squeeze in my posterior. My girlfriend was there and that happened. And it happened and I immediately went into terror because I was like, what? What happened how is now? <laughs> rational. How is it rationalized though? Like why would, how is that like? How I, explain to me as a I person was just, sitting on the sidelines? I was sideline. just so frightened and scared because of the situation that. that would fall out afterwards. That but I how give me the give me the how that happened. Minute. How did that even happen? It was just to simply you? I went for a hug because I was like, oh, this is the person I know. Hug, chain, no, 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 block, no. Block Why would the person do that to you? I don't know. I swear. Right, see, I swear on my. I swear on my. I swear on see, my if, I, if I'm a detective, if I'm you, no, you wouldn't believe me. You wouldn't believe me if right I, now. You see, you I'm wouldn't Columbo. believe me. But there are people that mm. literally were there to see this happen. Cause, cause no, I, they saw it. But the implication to why that would even happen to you in the you fucking see? first place. This is it. This is why. This is exactly yeah, why. Yeah, I'm Columbo I right freak, now, dude. I'm, I'm the detective. This is exactly why and I'm I being freaked like, out. You the lying way. sack of this shit. Is exactly, you're like, oh, you, I was I was, I was, was sending suggestive yeah, ideas. Yeah. Or I was doing something. I was like, I did nothing. I was at a place. And that happened. So did, and uh, one of my did Obama f- explain themselves? No. Why I, they did that I left. I left because one of my friends, <laughs> one of my friends Obama. saw what happened and they had to uh-huh. calm me down as I started so, panicking. So Bo saw what happened Bo, and, and he Bo calmed Bo you down. And Bo was like, he was like, listen here, listen here, boy, you did nothing wrong, all right? We all saw what happened. You're, you're, you're safe here. You're safe. And I was starting to tears. I was so scared. 
Wait, wait, wait. So you never, so you never, uh, you never, never talked to Obama. Never you never one, got an explanation never from Obama. Never once. I've avoided that person with every ounce of my That's being. That's gonna bug me. I'm gonna have to call being. Obama. Why? Don't do to, that, <laughs> please. I think they were. I, I, need I, I think. <laughs> I think they were just. They were just. They're a, a very fluid person, and they were just being nice. And I, uh, I, I got scared, hmm. and now I'm never okay, gonna confront me, it question. again. One more question, and then thanks, we can thanks, move on. Thanks. Did Obama know? Did Obama know that you were with your significant other? Yes. That's weird. I, yes. That is, man. That is some juicy tea shit type shit that it's, I actually. It's literally no. That, that I, there's no tea. I poured the tea out. I fucking. I, nigga, you no I no no no. Away. You I never confronted away. Obama. I flew away. I you flew, never you never confronted I, Obama. You know what? That tea that tea is cold, but I'm about to go warm that shit up. No, you're the, you're the worst <laughs> person ever. It was ever. <laughs> <laughs> now, 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 now the person knows. Now, now, now my, now my. You're telling me other, Obama listens to my. You're no, telling me Obama no, listens. No, my significant to other knows now. Oh wait, she didn't know. Wait, no, no, she was there. No, no, she didn't see it happen. Oh, I thought. Oh, I misunderstood the so story. That's, I she was no, there that's the why. Time. That's why I got scared the way I did because I was like, if she see, if she see saw this. This is gonna well, that's, fuck uh, the night up. This night's gonna get fucked. To wait, shit. Was she there, just not in the not uh, in that area? In that... Not when it happened. She was her eye. Her attention gotcha. was not on me. When it understood, happened. understood. So if it okay, happened, okay. it was on I, me. It would have turned into the thing I was dreading. So that's why understood. I was so nerve wracked. I looked. I looked like. I looked like a. I looked like a battered wife. I was shaking. I was like, what? Oh, no. Oh, no. I messed up his. Oh, no. I cooked the steak a little too long. It's not medium well. It's well done now. Oh, no. He's going to he's gonna assault me. And he's going to go after the kids, too. What have I done? What have I done? He's going to hit that, me with the kids. This is, <laughs> oh, no. This just says a lot about a lot of stuff, man. I love this. This just says, like, dysfunctional. This, uh... Weird, weird. You have you have interesting friends. Like Obama's a very interesting friend. Um, uh, Lily is clearly a wife beating, or uh, what, what would you call it? What's the reverse wife beater? What do you call that? Uh, Husband beater. It's the same thing. Okay. The fu- yeah. Oh, it's the I'm same thing. You don't understand, you, Derek. The person, the person, the person, the person who is getting beaten is okay, the wife. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Cool. If you're getting beat, you're a wife. <laughs> yeah. You, <laughs> if you're, you're getting hit, you're the wife. That's wild. <laughs> That is so disrespectful and like and it, that is so immensely disrespectful. But I love I love it. the idea <laughs> of Lily being what is she like four seven or something? And, like she's like <laughs> fucking just beating the shit out of you. What are you like six nine? No. And you're just like she's I'm just six, fucking three. wailing. I'm six, three and she's she's five, wailing two. on your knees and you're fucking like she crumbling. wails on my knees and I'm fucking. Uh, your knees, your knees are really important. In fairness, I, that's that's true. I if you want to take down a giant, go for the knees. Yeah, and I'm just. I don't think uh, you're six three, dude. I'm pretty sure you're like seven four I'm or something. Six foot three, dude. I just look. Really I think the last time I saw small. you, you were like definitely. I think I'm okay. I think I'm lying to myself because I think I actually my my neck is so injured that I'm literally shrinking. Damn, because bro. everybody's seeming taller to me now. Um, Dang, you're bro. doing the reverse ET. I, 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 <laughs> you place your neck. I think legitimately. In your... I think. You remember, that scene, I, you remember that scene at ET where he, where he. Yeah, when he's like. Because <laughs> he, he got erected. That's actually an alien penis, if you didn't know that. His neck is an alien um, penis. That's I thought that's Steven hilarious. Spielberg. He, he was in an interview. He was like. Yeah, so uh, you ever watch the commentary things? You ever watch the commentary uh, movie? Yeah, things? yeah, the commentary for ET, where he talks about how uh, ET's neck is actually a, a, a euphemism for uh, an erection. Yes. Yeah, like um, yeah, it's actually really interesting, man. And it it was what hooked me on movie commentary. It was that specific thing. So I'm like, okay, what else is a a euf- euphemism for uh, erect penises? What what else? Uh, what other symbolism? Um, opposed to the Wachowski sisters, they talked about Neo is a penis. Like his entire character is just a an extremely hard penis, and I want to uh, see Morpheus' balls. Really, I I want to see like a really honest, like a painfully honest <laughs> uh, movie movie commentary track with a cast and crew that absolutely hated each other. Like that, I think would be amazing. That'd be really so cool. fun. And I like it's so sad to me that they have to like you know they still have to you be like professional nice. and shit. Where it's like oh I remember I remember when you came into work on this day. I fucked your wife. Right. Uh, and it was hilarious. <laughs> Funniest shit ever. I mean, the whole rest of the commentary track is just the whole rest of it's just them fighting, and then like forty minutes of silence at the end because they've left the they've left the booth. 
And like, you, you can hear them outside arguing too, outside of both screaming at each other, and you're like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, <laughs> like, like really, like Fuck really you. faintly underneath the the normal movie because the movie's just mainly the loudest thing now. Right, that's funny. <laughs> that's so good, man. You know, so I used stupid. to, I used to be completely. It, it's the stupidest thing when I was young. I used to think movie commentary was the dumbest shit ever, and then like for some reason I started listening to podcasts, forgetting that I used to not like movie commentary and then i'm like this is the same fucking thing at some point it just clicked and i couldn't think for the life of myself that why did i not like this for so many years i used to like tell my friend that was obsessed with it he's like i won't buy a dvd if it doesn't have the dvd commentary on it and i'm like you're a fucking loser bro like i'm talking about like spider-man and shit like he just i'm not i'm this is a waste of money and now i understand because i'm completely I loved, there with I lo- well i loved movie commentaries because specifically because i was so used to getting bootlegs which did not have them mm. so like I, I would get bootlegs from like right. fucking mashula and like gun hill road there, 170, these set up. 170 bootlegs bro <laughs> yeah they, 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 they would be in like the really flat dvd cases they would have extremely like uh, covers faded. that were extremely faded extremely faded <laughs> <laughs> extremely faded always faded and always faded always always faded like printer paper like really like just like the scan lines on the printer like you could tell like they were running out of ink and i would get them and i would bring them home and it would be just a worse version of the movie and that's it so like when i found out that like okay i would spend money on like a on a, on a dvd or like my parents would get a dvd i'd be like okay we have one dvd which means i have a lot of content here because I have the movie, then I have the commentary on the movie, then like deleted scenes and bloopers and stuff like that. So I would I would watch DVDs to like their fucking I would 100 percent speed run fucking DVDs. What is wrong with like you? all of it? Like I fucking hate it because them. I only had like I only had like a handful of DVDs, so like I would watch them a lot. And when I got bored of watching the movie, I would be like, oh, what did they t- like? How did they make this? And then I would watch that. <laughs> how did they make this at 11, at six years old? How did they make Beetlejuice? And you're sitting there trying to get like, I don't I was. I don't I, know like, what's I, happening. I, I, well, <laughs> well I, start, I started editing when I was like eight or that nine. So I was like, it, I was interested in it already. Right. That makes but a lot like, of sense. That was the only way. It was the best way to get a lot of value out of the DVD as well. Because uh, I couldn't just sense. go out and buy more movies. I was a fucking child. <laughs> <laughs> For me, I, I remember there's yeah. one time I, I was watching uh ninety ninety nine Godzilla and I, I, oh, I ninety eight ninety eight ninety eight, sorry, and I mistakenly had the commentary on and I didn't know how to turn it off, so I was like, Why are these motherfuckers <laughs> talking during this movie? <laughs> I was like, why are these people telling you stuff? I was like, I don't get, I'm six. I don't get this. I don't get what's going on. And I'm just sitting there through the movie. And I'm, now I understand a lot of their ideas. First of all, those motherfuckers were insane. They had, they were like, why don't we have Godzilla have babies? They said that for real. And I was just like, what? What? That was, you you know how much that Godzilla bothered me? That when me and my friend Cameron, we were like, all right, let's go to the movies, and it was the choice between Godzilla or Deep Impact. I saw Deep Impact because fuck that Godzilla. Because I was just like, I was kind of a Godzilla geek, like a Gojira geek. A Gojira. And when I saw that giant fucking uh, iguana, I was like, nah, I'm good, dude. I was like, I I can't. I was so offended that like I didn't watch it. I was too. I was <laughs> and I rather saw to care. the most boring asteroid movie I've ever seen in my life. Deep like, impact. Deep, I, I'm about to make now maybe I like deep impact now because I just handle. like deep impact. Deep impact. <laughs> deep impact was like I because I saw Armageddon. Armageddon I liked. You know I Armageddon think it came out a year cool. before. Armageddon was a cool movie. And then deep impact came out and it was the most boring shit and to the point where I almost was like fuck I should have just watched that dumb lizard movie. <laughs> so I was, I, but I, I just dude come on did did you enjoy the Godzilla when you watched that when movie? when I was did little you, yes. Did, and it's also you so it's it. so funny. It's it's so bad. It's funny though. It is. It actually is that degree of funny. Maybe I need to watch it. It's been. That's I a lot have, of fish. I've, you never heard. You never seen that fucking Matthew Broderick after he crashed into a fucking innocent woman in his car. He got out of his car, <laughs> went to a port, <laughs> a pier. He was like, "Whoa, that's a lot of fish." That's what happened in the movie, bro. I swear. He freaking, he go-go gadgeted a woman into a wall with a freaking pistol, and then he was like, "Whoa, that's a lot of fish." That's a lot of fish. Go go gadget kill Godzilla. Was he was he like uh supposed to I have to watch that movie because I feel like I've only seen clips of it. Maybe I haven't watched it all the way through. You know what? I saw Godzilla getting uh killed and I was actually I remember it being a really sad part of the movie. 
I think they got like missile to death. Is that right? Am I, I, I'm pretty I, sure he got missile to death. Yeah, that movie. Something. That, it, he, Godzilla was an asshole in that movie, though. In all fairness, mm. it wasn't like nice, semi nice, protect your Godzilla. It was an asshole fucking up New York City, and he had little babies that were like eating people. Uh, it wasn't cool. It wasn't. I just I couldn't get over the I couldn't get over the iguana like design. It just it it just didn't do it for it me. It looked dude. like a dinosaur. Like what? What? Yeah, I didn't. It looked like a I fucking didn't... iguana. Like I, I mean, I, am be, I wrong? To be to be completely frank, Godzilla always looks kind of stupid. Oh, yes, in in some. But, I I'm not gonna no, the, disagree. The, new, <laughs> the, new, disagree. the newest Godzilla movie, like the ones with King Kong and that first, Godzilla looks cool as fuck in those ones. He does. I will admit, I will admit that. Well, they but just made him not as fat, which is It's I think them that's thighs, bro. Yeah. It's Godzilla's thighs, bro. Them thighs are plop, <laughs> dude. Those things are yeah, so thick. If you look at the, <laughs> you the would eat, 98 you would eat, Godzilla. You would eat Godzilla, no no hesitation. The 98 Godzilla is like a T Rex iguana. Yeah. It's like both combined. He, he, he literally has like an iguana body motion, with yeah. T Rex legs. And it's just like an upright iguana, actually, with the T Rex head. It, it's just a like weird a, design. There's a new Godzilla I one that just came out called Shin Godzilla, one that just, just came out. It's uh, it's made by the person that made Neon Genesis Evangelion. Uh-huh. And it was actually really, really, really good. Like, I, well, it was pretty slow, but I really did enjoy watching it. The thing, the thing with ninety eight Godzilla is that ninety eight Godzilla looks like a like more like a xenomorph almost, like in his the silhouette and the way that he like, and also I can see that. Also, they gave him like a <laughs> they gave him like a Chad chin. <laughs> yeah, you know what dude. I mean? He's got a Giga Chad chin. He he's got sure a does. he's got a Giga Chad chin. He's it's Gigazilla, Giga Chadzilla, <laughs> and it's like it's it's just he, it's such a weird look. Like every time I looked at it, it just struck me as like bizarre because it just looked like he was just trying to like. He has the smirk, like he has the Giga Chad smirk too. He's just like he does. Yeah. He's smiling. Yo, I love he's... this movie. God, I feel so stupid. I really like this fucking movie, dude. <laughs> What got the, the ninety eight yeah, Godzilla? I think, I think yeah. he still looks kind of sick, actually. Like I know you guys. He looks. Mean, he look, looks. If, if he looks cool, if he's not Godzilla, you know what I mean. Like if this was right, like if exactly, this was like totally uh, I don't know if this was like a monster movie about some dinosaur or, or like he would fit. He would actually fit in pretty well in in Jurassic World because Jurassic right. World does all that that weird. You know what I mean? Like all the weird like genetic dinosaur shit. Like yeah. I feel like he would belong he there, looks but bad like ass to me, dude. it's the uh, his t- it's the fucking giga he's, it's the giga he's chin, so man. He's so not Godzilla in appearance though. Like he his he don't got the thighs. He has longish arms actually. His tail's not big. His spikes look like it's a very '90s designed Godzilla. Like that's another product of the yeah. '90s. Like this is the '90s. It, it, that is so this, fucking. That is so. This true, is dude. how people do things in the '90s. In the nineties, the they made a, they made a Spider Man with a hoodie on, and they made a Godzilla that looks like a Velociraptor. Like that's the nineties, like you know? <laughs> a vegan, a vegan Godzilla compared to the other one. Where, yeah, the original Godzilla has the fattest thighs. It's Thick comically is, like it's so fucking. Godzilla you look at that Godzilla, thighs, and you're like, this is this is pretty funny. Bro, like, it's crazy. But like, I had a. I had a uh, I had a fascination with Godzilla and just not even the the series it's because the series were so fucking corny in the movies and stuff, but like just the toys them. and stuff and and all that shit. I used to when I used to play drums, I used to have a Godzilla um on my drum mantle. Like I would like put it up just above my bass drum, and it was like a part. It was like an accessory, and uh, so yeah, the the ninety eight Godzilla just but uh, bad taste. But now I'm excited now that we're abs, talking about though. it and we're looking Dude, I think at he has it. Abs. I'm actually, and you're saying Matthew Broderick's in it. I don't yeah, even remember Brad- that. I'm I'm excited to watch it's it. I'm Broderick, go tell. Right? Um, let me make let me make sure it is Broderick 100. Well, percent I miss. It is Broderick. It's Broderick. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You got Matthew you know Broderick. Crazy? How many people's you killed in that movie? Oh. John Reno's you know in it. Yeah, he is. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. You know what's cool too is that like, um, what's so interesting is that because there are so many, <laughs> the fact that Godzilla alone has just become synonymous with like like you could add anything you could say a word and then zilla at the end of it and you would like you would know like what the implication of that is 
I just think that's really cool. Like anytime like a character just becomes it, almost like uh, what happens with like certain brands, like how band aids became synonymous with just like bandages, right? Every, or like uh, or like how like oh I'm gonna grab an Uber even though you're grabbing a Lyft or Nugget. Right. It's like it's like that like, where it's like Godzilla too. just is is giant monsters. Yeah, that's so. And that's true. kind of crazy. Bridezilla. Bridezilla is a show. Like yeah, where yeah. The, apparently, the implication. Appar- <laughs> yeah, apparently Zilla means shadow, so his name is God Shadow, which is fucking. Dope. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that is actually but kind of cool. Gojira. Yeah. Go- Gojira. I thought that was I, like, uh, I thought people were just being disrespectful, but actually no, it's just, it's how you pronounce it in Japanese, actually. That's actually how you pronounce it. I thought people were just being rude. And I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> like y'all don't gotta say it like that, you know? But it's like Ah, that makes me so excited for fucking destroy humans too. Shin Godzilla is really cool, man. You guys should watch it. It's uh it's interesting because it's like it's this Godzilla is like what? really freaky, and it it deals a lot with. What the did fact you watch that, it on? Um, it's on Prime. Is it on a streaming thing? It's on Prime. Oh, it's on Prime. Oh, watch it. Oh, yeah, I got Prime. Shin bro, Godzilla. I've, I, I really, I've had Prime since two thousand seven, dude. I just damn, realized. bro. So you've seen yeah. every because before the time, whenever everything comes out first, there's everything on it. That's how like old streaming services were. So you probably yeah. saw a bunch of shit on there before. So it's it's weird how well like Prime Prime originally just started off just being exclusively a two day delivery service, and then they slowly started adding more shit onto it. And I thought about it, and I was like, oh, I signed up for that shit in oh seven. I remember where I was, and I'm like, damn. Uh, I don't know if it uh, how much it costs now, if it's the same or anything. I feel like, uh. I don't know. I don't know. I get it too because I'm a uh, student. I, I get everything too. All I know is that. now it's it seems fucking worth it because now there's like real shit on there. And now they got some stuff now too. You spend like 25 bucks and you can get fucking literally same day delivery like overnight. Bro. The, I just bought some shit last night and it showed up at my doorstep in the morning. This is dope. I didn't realize. I, don't, I, don't I didn't even delivery. realize Shin Godzilla was a. I didn't even realize Shin Godzilla was a thing. Yeah. Right. I, did, I had no idea either. It looks really. St- Apparently. What's up? Apparently, Shin means true. Yeah. Well, it, it a lot of it, it means a few. It could also means kind of super. Uh, in super Godzilla, some, yeah, yeah. Because I remember, I I only yeah because like uh, the, the I remember Hadouken? Dragon Ball Z. Well, I remember Dragon Ball Z Shin Budokai for the yeah. for the uh, PSP. PSP game was dog shit, but it was fun. Yeah, it wasn't very good. It's because they went to Budokai 3. <laughs> Budokai 3 was so lit. Like, Budokai 3 was such a, a moment in time of a, a video game. Great and game. And then, like, Just they went to the... Shin Budokai. And I was like, it's a, on the PS. Because when I was younger, I didn't understand that it was, things being on handheld consoles means they had to be worse. They were just always worse games. I was like, why does it have <laughs> to be worse? Why can't they put... Why can't they just put... I don't know, freaking... What's the name of the thing with the Giants? Um... Shadow Why can't Shadow Colossus be on my Game Boy Advance? I don't get it. I don't get that. Yeah, <laughs> I, I I know I know exactly what and you then mean. Like, then I a- realized when I'm like my late twenties, that's why <laughs> I didn't understand that until I was a grown man. I was like, oh, that's why. I mean, I, I, it. <laughs> yeah. I I definitely learned it like in middle school, but there was a, there was a time not middle school, um, junior high, sixth, seventh, yes, yeah, whatever the 20, fuck that 27. is, twenty seven. But for me, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, anyway. I don't, I don't know. Hey, what, 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 what should we should we go into some yeah. uh, questions? How long have we been going on? It doesn't feel like uh, we're, we're almost we're, almost an hour twenty. We're, we're, we're just we're oh, wow. around so much. That's why it does not feel that way at all. Oh, well, last <laughs> thing being said about Trump, uh, it's it's pretty. It's just a wild situation. You guys should watch it. It's really funny. He pled the fifth in court, even though he is on record saying that only mobsters and crooks plead the fifth he's just he's just a, a bag of just unbelievable moments <laughs> he's he, that's a very well great way to put it he is pretty much a meme compilation of a person it's like it's pretty it's, wild it's wild the, the, he also did the, he also did this weird thing where he posted this uh this video of him giving a speech on a uh, truth social and then it got it got onto twitter of course <laughs> because nothing nothing can really get viral on truth social because there's like I don't even know, like maybe like five thousand people on it, but it's just this really, it's 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 got this like pseudo inspirational like like music behind it, and it's just a lot of people were commenting like, "Oh, what a brilliant speech!" And it's literally just him going like, 
America sucks. America's gay. <laughs> We're now it's now today America's far gayer than it ever was, and it was it's so sad. Ameri- it, today like America's it's like an hour and forty five minutes long. Is it a long speech? Well, I don't. The, no, no. Well, I don't know how long this. I'm sure the event. Mm. I'm sure like whatever he. I'm sure whatever his thing was was that long. If he did like an address, but it's specifically this like maybe like two minute, three minute. Right thing. It's it's not like it's it's like an ad campaign basically is how it comes across. But it kind of paints him as like the the you know the one true guy who's like oh I see how I see how I'm I see how it is. Uh, but it's just the whole speech is just him going like America's gay, America sucks. This thing is bad today. It was bad a couple of years ago, but it's still bad. And it's like this is not a brilliant speech. <laughs> it's, it's just it's, it's just him saying America sucks over and over and over again. <laughs> Completely. Which is just like... And there's I, literally I things within it that he's complaining about that his actions caused. Exactly. Like, there's certain yeah, things of like... He's like, yeah, yeah, specifically, he was like, today, America is uh, ranked last in education. And it's like, it's been like that for fucking decades, dog. Like, it, it's... Right. That is not even remotely a new problem. <laughs> like, that is... It is insane. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how all this shakes up. It's it's hell, honestly. This is like this is this feels like I don't even know. It feels like you know how you check up on a show like Young Sheldon and you realize there are six seasons? <laughs> and you're like, Wow, six seasons of this? That's what it kind of feels I like now, where it's you, like, I Wow, we're still I can't that kind that show of, existed. I'm, I need a minute. I need a minute. That was <laughs> That was a fucking revelation. God damn. I thought it just yeah. came out. No, I thought it no. just... I just assumed it was going to fail because who the fuck wants to see that? And I mean that in a way that even fans of the show, like, they liked Sheldon, not Kid Sheldon. Why the fuck would they want to watch that? I'm assuming. Like, if I watch It's Always Sunny, would I want to see kid versions of those fucking characters? I might, low-key. I would love to see... I would love to see a kid so, back. Okay. Kind of a bad example because actually that would that might actually be kind of good because seeing like or a kid young, Dennis, uh, young Dennis when it's with starting, a young, uh, when it's with starting, a f- when young you, Frank, you seeing all the shit starting no, no, for no, Dennis no, no, and it's no, like no. yo, look, look, an episode would suffice. Yeah, one episode seeing would be like funny. a young, but like a series of this shit just sounds fucking like a completely overkill. But no, apparently yeah. there's six seasons of Young Sheldon. The, uh, I'll do you one worse. Oh, there no. are six seasons of Young Sheldon. And I'm not saying that as in previous. I'm saying as in the sixth season premieres soon. Oh. So it's still going. It's not even like six seasons and then it's over. It's six seasons so far. So it feels like that. It feels this is how this whole Trump shit feels where it's like we're still this is still happening. Like I'm kind of over it. Like I got I was over it. Probably like two years in to the first term, to be quite honest with you. Like two years in, it got like, all right, this is like kind of boring. The you had, the, you had some funny things like, oh yeah, the, the him getting like two hundred Big Macs for that, for that, for that those graduates or, or whatever the fuck. Yeah, that team they were. Or imagine, like that, that was funny. Going to the White House, and you're like, oh man, I just won a champ- NBA championship. Like I fucking, I put my, I've sacrificed relationships, fucking time with my family. All this shit to fucking become the best of the best in the league. You know, I was like, I'm probably gonna have a good dinner. Like, probably, probably not even expecting anything too crazy, but at least something nice, like fine dining, at least. And you get there and you see the fucking flat punched in McDonald's cheeseburgers and their fucking goop made fucking pink goop fucking nuggets. And I would just be like, I hey, to be fair. Leave. It's not pink goop anymore, man. Oh, what is it now, Derek? What's how? What is it now? <laughs> it's it's no. It's actually it's I I I <laughs> I don't know how this ended up in a recommendation on my YouTube channel. Probably McDonald's paying a lot of money, but they showed the actual Tyson factories and they went through them and they showed the process of how they prepare the chickens now. It's actually real chicken. I was like, oh shit! Literally, yeah. be, they like uh, well, what you think they just spent like millions and staged well, all those I, people? I, I, I actually I actually have something to say. I actually oh, yeah, have something yeah. to say about this yeah. because. This feels like that whole pink goop at McDonald's, like being being the chicken nuggets or the meat. That feels to me kind of like. Do you remember when you were told like, "Oh, you swallow f- like 
10 spiders every night or something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, no, no. But that, that, that pink goop shit was real, really, though. Like, that was actually no, 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 for no, no. real, I, real. I think, I think the pink, I think the peak, the pink goop shit was real, but I don't think that was chicken, dude. Like, I think that was, like, something some else. other confect. I think it was probably, like, like milkshake shit, or, like, you know what I mean? Like, something that would make more sense to have pink goop. Like, I, I don't even know the scientific process that you would have to, that you would have to undergo to make pink goop into anything that looks feels and even tastes remotely well, they, like they, chicken. They, well, they goop it, they add a little bit of whatever the fuck they're going to add to it, and then they fry it, and it's just the nuggets. It that's seems, it. It seems I counterproductive. Don't, I don't think that's See, the, real, the, the man. Pink, the, the goop or the slime seems counterproductive to the actual consistency of the nugget, where it's complete slime, and then once you cook it, it do, like it, it just seems like you're doing extra steps or something. It, like, it, you don't it, even it, need it to seems, grind it to that, goop. That's what I mean. Or that's what I mean. It, it, I it's... It seems like something that we saw one day and we just sort of like unanimously believed, but I don't, I, I, something, something about that story like bothers me where it's like, I feel like that was never true. Quite, well, I will quite say honestly. I've never looked it thoroughly into the pink slime thing. I will say I saw the video of how McDonald's, this was probably a few years ago. I saw a video of how they prepared their nuggets and it actually made me feel, cause I used to not eat McDonald's chicken nuggets because I'm like, I don't know what the fuck's in them. And then they showed the workers on their assembly line type of thing, cutting the chicken. Then they throw it into this big thing with a batch of their seasoning and chicken skin and stuff. And I'm like, oh, that's real chicken. It's it's a Tyson. They they partner with Tyson, which isn't the best company, right? If you're, you know, if you're a vegan, you Tyson's your worst fucking enemy. Tyson, they <laughs> walk like, in, they pick up a chicken, they slam it on the floor, <laughs> and then they go bring it to the slaughter. <laughs> they go bring. Like, why do you always bring us dead chickens already? Like, I don't know. They man, die man. on the way here. They start I don't know. Punching. <laughs> they they bring in psychopaths and they just put the people in the room full of chickens and start punching them to death. Punching it just saves them, so they don't bro. have to have machines anymore. Punching. It's like them. they they. They don't even the guy pays them to kill the chickens because he's just like, you know, he's like as he's he's uh, satisfying an, an urge. He's almost like Dexter, right? Like where Dexter needed to kill the animals because he couldn't. He, he's, he's having that urge again. Can I kill a chicken? So these motherfuckers are killing Tyson chickens. Can I kill a chicken, please? A photo. OK, so a photo circulating online does not. OK, so what the photo shows is mechanically separated chicken, but it's not from McDonald's. Apparently, it's literally so, just like mechanically separated chicken for like, I don't know, I guess like it could it be for like animal like feed. Almost, it almost looks like it's animal feed. Now, see, I'm actually can, interested can I, in, in you know, I'm not, you I'm not I'm not going to look into this. One of our listeners is going to, you yeah, know, somebody, somebody is going probably, to, they're somebody's gonna lay probably an us. expert. Yeah, man, you they're going to lay it so out for us. They know. Stupid. You guys are so dumb. You guys are so dumb on this podcast. Actually, it's made from fucking cockatiel brine and it's like whatever dude i get it sure okay <laughs> actually obama in in 2008 he signed into law that it's now made exclusively of uh middle eastern people <laughs> it's not, yeah. it's not exclusively it's of, of syrian it's children made of people from Qatar, syria and mostly the gaza strip and i'd be like god <laughs> damn hum to allah bro hum to allah I low key might oh, become what else Muslim. What are we supposed to do with the bodies? I low key might become Muslim for a week, bro. I might do Muslim. I might become Muslim for like for, a, for a for week, a, for a hot minute. I'll I'll try for a week. What is? And if it doesn't, what I is don't with feel the it. most like you know? What the, say the, it? The darkest brothers. Say it. say it. Why do they flock to this Islam? obviously Arabic religion well, well, for well, well, people that you, don't you look know, like them. You know nothing. You know nothing about the black Israelite movement. So well, allow me. Well, see, that's a completely different thing. No, 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 no. Israelites no, 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 no. and Muslims no, 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 are like, me, that's. Me. Do you understand what 5% okay, no, no. are? That's what 5% en- enlighten are? Me. Enlighten me. That's what 5% yes, I actually, are? Yes. Yeah. They, look, now look, people have made fun of me for years about this shit. They're like okay, five percenters go. being crazy. But I knowledge of self does make sense, right? It does. Understanding self-worth. And applying your mind to challenges that you need to get past, you know? So why does what does religion have to do with anything you just said? Because I learned that from five percenters. Like that's the people that informed me of that idea, that mentality. That's well, why I'm just saying like every idea that has been conjured into existence has been used by religion. Has existed yes. No, but it existed before religion. Religion just packaged this thing nah, into something bro. and sold it to people to control you. I mean, like by the, definition, it would, by right definition there, it would. This man's haram. By, by, <laughs> this man's haram, by bro. Defi- 
Him, By definition, it would have to, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's that that like these ideas. The idea of the like people saying the golden rule is like a Christian value. I'm like, oh, treating people how you want to be treated that didn't exist before Christianity. That sounds. I don't want to hear this. Funny. I don't want to hear this. <laughs> I'm, sorry, hear this. I'm sorry, brother. I'm sorry, but assalamu alaikum. All right, excuse me. I see now that's halal. I'm actually now that's halal I'm, right I'm, there, bro. I'm Muslim. I'm Muslim right now. I just converted. That's so disrespectful. That's crazy. But at the same yeah. time. I'm religion fluid. I'm religion fluid. <laughs> hey, why can't you? I mean, why? Can't I mean, like, I mean, gods, it's are, arguably gods the are jealous, and you can't do that. You're disrespecting them. You don't fucking get it, Derek. When I go and get my virgins, and you fucking burn in hell for eternity, I'm gonna laugh at you while I'm fucking all my virgins. All right, dude. Where's your child bride? Though, that. make sure you have some child brides. I did not. Whoa, 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 whoa! I want you. To, I want no, you to no, follow no. this shit for no, real. No, 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 no! I want you to. Whoa, I want whoa. you to throw acids on the infidels. You know, when <laughs> no. you see her. Wait, 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 no, wait, no, no, wait, 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 I'm I'm sure, Wait, uh, have we not done any questions at all? No. In oh, no, fact, no, we I get cannot believe we got from Donald Trump to talking about me becoming a five percenter. That is a very <laughs> interesting loop to be taken. So yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, let's jump into some. Uh, let's jump into some questions. What is? We'll run through this? some of these, huh? Remember, you can always ask your questions at patreoncom slash the snark tank. So uh, keep that in mind if you ever want to get into the show in that way. Over five dollar tier gets you gets you your questions in. Uh, Sue Hulk wrote in. Whoa, how Whoa. Do you, Sue? I just hey Sue I, Hulk. I just want to know if you guys would ever try haggis. Mm. I've never tried it. I don't what know what is it is exactly? still to this it's day. Like beef, well, right? I think it's like uh, some type of meat filled in a sheep's bladder. I think I so. I can't do that. I can't do that. Yeah, I'm, uh, a I'm Scottish be- dish consisting of a sheep's or calf's offal mixed with a, I don't know what any of these words mean. Well, I think it's supposed to be a bladder or a stomach. I'm not, I'm not fucking Gordy Remus or whatever the fuck. Gordy Remus. <laughs> so like, or fucking <laughs> whatever Connor McCloud or just just pick Connor one. Connor McCloud. I'm not Emerald. Em- I'm not Emerald. The Emerald <laughs> Chef. So like, That's I don't know any gangster. of these words. <laughs> So. Absolutely gangster. Can you can you I would love if uh Shum Kitchen Tom Nightmares had Hickle had a woman. if fucking really? Gordon Ramsay said that as a compliment. Like he goes to like some he goes to some chicken place in like New Orleans and be like, This is absolutely gangster. I, I love this. would pay money to see that. That sounds dope. If he hurt, if he like, because I know, uh, I know Gordon Ramsay listens to Snark Tank, so when he hears this, he's probably gonna adopt that. You know what's crazy? You, yeah, guys, yeah, yeah. you guys, that's you guys, fucking brilliant. This is, this is all jokes aside. In October, me and my girlfriend are planning on going to New Orleans for the Fried Chicken Festival. Okay, so you guys should come with when? us. When? Wait, when? When? When did you say? In October. Uh, I what, can't do October. What, uh, man. what part early, of October? Early, like within, the, like with, I think within the first week. I might be able I to can't. go. I might be able to go. That'd be fun, bro. That'd be, be fun. That. It'll be so fun. I mean, I might be. I, would, I might I be would, able to go. So we'll see. I would like to start takes like, take uh, New Orleans. Yeah, I'll bring my my new ball and chain. Uh, you know, I got a I got a wife and my life's over and shit. You got you know, a funny, wife. Like, That's insane. As you as just as said as that. As <laughs> you said the words. As soon as, as soon as that happens, like literally, like I think I aged a year in like in a, a couple of weeks. <laughs> I sincerely, I keep forgetting that that happened. Yeah, because yeah, well, it, it happened. It happened so nonchalantly. Yeah, I'm it's like, yeah, you're married now. <laughs> my fucking roommate, my roommate Chris, um, uh, um, he, like he he was aware of the situation and everything, but I did. We didn't. I didn't come up to him and say, "Hey, we did it" and all that stuff. Because I just whatever. We're all just we just exist in the house together. And he found out by me just nonchalantly mentioning in my fucking video, the last one that I dropped, and uh, a guy that I haven't talked to since, like, high school, apparently he watches my shit, and he was like, oh, dude, congrats. I'm like, what the fuck? Why? First of all, I don't even like that people that I know watch my channel. I hate that. I hate it so much. I want no one that I know personally to ever watch anything because... 
sometimes you say things and you know you never you know what i mean like you just don't want the wrong thing to start circulating in other circles and shit you don't want that ex-gangbanging kid that that (laughs) that you fucked his girlfriend that one time to be like you did what (laughs) kingston and then i gotta then i can't go back to new york anymore (laughs) i can't i can't go back to new york anymore because they know where i live and like i gotta tell my grandma hey grandma just uh be be safe (laughs) you know Dude, New York is so foreign to me, man. Like, I always hear New Yorkers talk about certain areas and all this stuff and talking about all these uh, bureaus and all the, or boroughs and all this stuff. And I have no idea. Like, I can't picture anything. Like, you guys, like, um, Andrew Schultz uh, recently was talking to, I forgot who he was interviewing, and he was talking about where he's from and he takes it really seriously by his area. And I'm like, I have no recollection. I can't remember what he said. Um, but I just, the way yeah, that yeah. you guys, you guys say so many different, like, what is it, Yakipsi or like, I'm from, what is it? Poughkeepsie? I went to school in Poughkeepsie. 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 Like when you guys say but these you'd things, never, like, you'd never I go there. You would. There's no reason you'd ever. But be, like, you'd ever in, in a reference to, I I've been in the I've been on the Isle of Manhattan. You said Isle. Jesus. Where? What is that? Like what? What? What is like? That's say, Manhattan. That's that one and borough. Then, and then one borough. And where? And that's and that's considered a borough. Yes. Manhattan Except- is Manhattan is the city, but it's it's kind of like how L.A. is a city, but L.A. County is kind of everywhere. Where right. like New York City technically technically encompasses Manhattan, Brooklyn, Queens, and the Bronx. So, and, so, you know. so New York City is like a county. This, let me let me let me let me, I mean, let me explain it to you. Kind of the city of Jeez, New this York is, what's is fucking me up. the city of New York is Manhattan. When you refer to a city right. of New York, but New York. So if there is no actual New York, no, city. no, 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 no. But New York City. Consist of all the five boroughs. Because what happened is when you live in Manhattan, when you sign things, you don't sign Manhattan. You sign NYC or NY. Or New York, yeah, New York. Or New York, yeah, New York, New York. There you go. You don't put, uh, you you don't put Manhattan. <laughs> but in the Bronx, you sign New York, the Bronx. When you're in Brooklyn, you sign New York, Brooklyn or stuff so, like wait, that. The Bronx is like a thing and not like a, a nickname. No, it's a borough. What happens is New York City is a is a oh, is a fuck. mega city consisting of four other cities that spans a little bit into technically Yonkers, Mount Vernon, and um, what's the other one called New Rochelle? It technically expands a little bit into the Bronx does. But that's 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 so that's is it far kind out. of like okay? So in the way that okay okay, I think I'm understanding because I know it like, is say, for much example, a Hollywood. Hollywood is Los Angeles. There is no city called Hollywood. Yes. Is it like that? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Similar to okay. That. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's, okay. It's, it's it's pretty much a county. It's pretty much the idea of as LA, but LA County is just a Burbank, you know, Glendale, all that jazz. Right. But those are also cities, though. Like, yes. Burbank is just, a real city with like, its own zip Just like code the Bronx shit. is as well. The Bronx has so more than like one an zip city. Code. Okay. Yeah. Has more than one all zip right. code actually. Okay. Okay. Um. But it's but it's, but the thing is. It's not an actual county, though. No, it's considered a city instead of a county. Yeah, see, that's the, that's the part where yeah, I'm getting because there's actually L.A. proper, the city, and then there's like stupid bullshit around it that is still L.A. But people call yeah, it other there's, things there's, like yeah, okay. the, like basically okay. like it, there's no official county, but the city it, like as when you say New York City, there's like a double meaning there where it's like it you're either talking about Manhattan, Manhattan. or you're talking about th- what was what is ostensibly just the county of New yeah. York City. This is so which crazy. is like, you know, yeah, it, like, which is which is considering it the Bronx, Brooklyn, Queens, the uh, Island. Staten Island, I guess. Is although, Jamaica a city? Jamaica is in Queens. Jamaica is Queens. Jamaica and, that's a, Queens. and that's a neighborhood. It's not a city, it's a neighborhood. God, see, this is what I like. I remember when I was in there and yeah. I, I was actually traveling to Jamaica. To, I, I forgot where I was stopping, but I was so confused. I'm like, wait, is this like a city? I didn't get it. It's fucking, but you're educating me. When and you, I actually, when you, go, like, when you go to New York, you gotta, you gotta, you cannot expect to traverse New York and you traverse the, uh, men like California. It, is, it isn't the same way. What happens is there's a lot of, um, so subway connections, the way that it works, it does a lot of the work for you. In the sense that it informs you, like, loud, like, here, the connection to this place and that place and that place. Because I forgot. When I moved out of the city and I moved upstate, um, I didn't really come down to the city by myself until I was, like, like in my late teens. And I forgot how to get around. But what happens is that every single time you go to a stop on a train, it tells you where it connects to and what other line you need to go to. So it will inform you how it works. It is confusing, though, if you've never had anything like that. Like, if you, don't, if you lived in, like... 
I don't know, like fucking Sweden, and you try to take a May, fucking yeah, yeah, or, yeah, you try to take a train in New York, <laughs> you'll very likely get lost. But luckily, every train station and line connects to another line that will connect you to another place where you have to go. It's very. I have another question. Genius. The main, um, all the, the 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 subways or whatever, the like the A's, the B's, and all that mm-hmm. bullshit. Yeah. Is there a reason why there's always homeless people fucking? Is that like to I've ward never off seen that. certain things? I've never seen that in all fairness. I've I've never seen that either. But hmm. why uh, is there so much I footage mean, exist of that shit though? <laughs> well, I I will say uh the su- you will find homeless people in the subway. Right. Because I, that, right. It's it's a it's technically shelter. <laughs> you know. But specifically <laughs> I have seen and I'm like, I don't think these are pranks because there's people around and these people have they're fucking they're actually having sex. And I'm I like, have, what is it about I, New York subways? I have s- sincerely never seen that I've in my entire life. Mm. But are I, you but just I, not I, looking I for it real. because I, you're so uh, you're so used to it? Maybe that, no, like, I look me, around. All, I, I, I look. I'm very. No, you have to be observant. OK. <laughs> and like you, you're not. You're not just passively like not looking at anything in the city. You, I, I believe me. I'm taking in everything around me, because at any moment, like I don't know, a fucking bus will topple over, a fucking a grate will explode, or or, or like a fucking sinkhole, or another building, or another fuck. fucking giant building will fall down. So you always gotta be, <laughs> you always gotta be aware. But the thing is that oh my for God, me, yeah. for, it, imagine nine eleven two happening. <laughs> Like the same place, they, they fly into two. the hole of the Freedom Plaza. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the amount, the 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 amount, the amount of actual like attacks that have been stopped in Times Square alone is staggering, it's staggering bro. Especially during Christmas time. Like the security, it's the wild. security in New York City is the security in, sim- in New York City is simultaneously like one of the most incredible things in the world. But also, if you're calling the cops, they might not show up, bro. It's <laughs> wild, bro. If you call the cops. In in so in Upper East Side of Manhattan, they will show up. There they'll show up. But if you live in the yeah. Bronx and you call the cops, you better deal with the problem yourself. You're better off dealing with it on your own because they'll okay. come three hours later, angry at the fact that you called them. <laughs> but I do know what's going on honestly, here, huh? Know, You're just like I had but, to fight but, off but burglars. But I I know I know why it is confused because it's kind of like t- to me I I would imagine that hearing about New York boroughs and and neighborhoods and the distinction between them it's kind of like hearing about like I don't even like the different almost like hearing somebody talk about like Tamriel in Elder Scrolls where it's like where's Skyrim yeah, yeah, yeah. like yeah. like wait is is White Run Skyrim no White right White Run's a city and it's, it's like a- oh but that's but that's in like the fucking you know the the shadow of Mount Whatever, you know, it's like it, it, I can I can imagine why it would be a lot more tricky. Uh, I will say, man, Seattle streets are fucking horrific. Like the way they number their streets is insane because it's all numbers, but none of them are chronological. Oh, nice. <laughs> it is, what? Like I, I I ended up. <laughs> hold on, let me let me let me Praise find Tamriel. Pray. Let me tell find... that's a new like Plates. that's not an old city. <laughs> Like, because that's yeah. an old city would be like, <laughs> we don't have maps or anything, so we have to number things so we know where the fuck we are. It is fucking like it, it was like south. Like you you just like, hey, can you take me to south one one thousand and twelfth street first street? And it's like that's a, that's that would be like an address in Seattle. It's like it, it is so bizarre. Uh, so people just can't keep I don't things know. simple, man. I just, <laughs> I don't understand. And don't get me started on downtowns, man. I'm just not. I I don't understand the appeal of designing downtowns the way that they're all designed, like the, the same essentially. Where it's just like if you've there. never driven before, you're gonna crash. Like you're, if you try to navigate through a downtown, people are like, I, "Am I in England? I, what the hell is happening?" Oh, okay. So I figured it out. So like their numbers are like. They divide streets based on exact compass directions. So basically, there could be like, there could be a 293rd street south, and there could be a 293rd street east, and then there could be a two, and then there could be a 293rd street southeast. Okay, that's okay, what I now get they're just getting silly. Because, now they're just getting silly. Because in New York, in New York, and when you go to different boroughs, at least, 
Because I remember there was one time I um I got on a wrong train. I remember because I was like fucking like eleven. I got on a wrong train. I, got, I looked on the track and I saw my grandma see me on a wrong train, and I saw the panic <laughs> in her face. She was like, <laughs> <laughs> and I went to where I lived in Brooklyn. Because I remember I got off the train. I was like, this is weird. Um, there's no water by where I live in the Bronx, but since I was in Brooklyn, you could see the water going toward where the ferry was. So I was like, ah, you know, this walk. So I went from like 145th Street, which I probably can't, I, I, if I took this walk now, I'd die. And I went all the way to 167th Street. And I was like, what borough am I in to somebody? And they were like, you're in Manhattan right now. And I was like, oh, I got to get back to the Bronx. And they were like, <laughs> kid, what? They're like, what, kid? It's it is it's like that in LA too, though, because there is like there's like a Colorado in Glendale, and then there's like a Colorado but they all in Burbank, connect, and then there's like those, a, all of those connect eventually. Well, well, no, not all, because the one in the one the Colorado in Glendale doesn't connect to the Colorado Are in you like sure? uh, fucking yes, because. There's mountains separating oh. them. Oh, you're right. You're yeah. right. You are right. So, so like Colorado, so Colorado will drop off in like one city and then pick up in another city divided by a mountain. So it's it's very much kind of like that where it's like, oh, this is a different first street than the one I'm supposed to be. It was really at. funny. It was a really similar situation of me getting home like three hours later. My grandma was like, What happened? Like, oh, I went to where I lived in Brooklyn and it looked fairly similar. <laughs> and she was like, Don't get on a train without me again and i was like all right i guess <laughs> <laughs> anyway so i think the answer to the question is i i would probably try haggis i oh holy shit oh my god sorry <laughs> sue oh my jesus we ended up talking about fucking locations miss, miss sue and you're and you got we you got we, you gotta, really, we answered uh, wait we didn't Scottish even answer did she's she's extra fucking she's extra unfamiliar she's just like hearing like, sounds oh this whole like, like everything she's <laughs> Yeah, because we're talking we're talking about like, but at least like when we're talking about it with Derek, it's like at least it's American. But like, <laughs> yeah, all like, this shit we're talking about. Sue probably lives like, oh my ad- my address is like twelve. Uh, it's just twelve. The house stone. across the bridge, the house across the bridge from the Stone <laughs> Temple sheep on the glass eye of oh Mount Vernon or whatever. Like, <laughs> fucking Haggis Road, <laughs> like some fucking let's stop, twelve ha- let's Haggis stop Freedom being Road. Let's, let's stop being rude to our. For- <laughs> Stop being rude to our friends no. from different places. No, no, Sue, Sue, Sue's cool, but she's got a, she's got a real in her fucking husband, man. She, that motherfucker is off the rails on Twitter. I love it. That motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> what did it. he do when the the when the you love that shit when the he became like Justice Dankula and people thought he was that, real. That, <laughs> that was funny. That was I mean, funny. It was funny that like people thought. I'm like, come on, guys. There's nine of them, and none of them are named can Dankula. You, <laughs> can you imagine? Su- can you imagine Supreme Court Justice Dankula? Like, how dumb do you have to be to think that that's a real person? That's like, oh, I'm Senator Pink Guy. That's insane. I think it's hilarious. I love it. I mean, it just it just, it just shows the like the susceptibility of people to like how they're so easily duped. But I mean, come on. If you have a 70, almost an 80 year old fat guy wearing makeup and dyeing his hair, just be like, everything sucks. And then everyone's like, yeah, I guess everything sucks. You're like, yeah, it, literally no explanation to why things suck. Fucking jobs are booming right now. And then he gets on stage and says, jobs are shit. Like, I literally just saw him do that. The job, jobs are just terrible. The, oh. You're not looking at the real numbers. Oh, no, no, then, no, no, no. His, or, or what makes it funny is the idea that he says, she said jobs are booming. Jobs are booming, right? But the argument is that he said jobs are great, but the jobs that we have are dog shit jobs. Meanwhile, he bragged about the unemployment rate being so low for years as the president. This man is, you can't make up, you can't make up who he is. Well, that's why he's the goat, man. This that, that's why it's like, it's, when this, you have people, when you have, <laughs> I just, I just wish, I, I wish I had, I grew up in a different way. Cause I I would love to be a cult leader without feeling guilty, you oh, know what so I mean? Like I would love to just like, cool. and then I would I yeah, would that's... just I would just fill like just haggis like bags or whatever full of cum and make people eat it. Like I would just do it just because I can. That's wild, man. That's like, it, you you isn't are... that like isn't that like a regular recipe of haggis? You do not have power because you are not supposed to. You are not yeah, worthy. If that, if, you if, are if, not worthy. Yeah, but see, like, I don't want to do evil, malevolent stuff. I just want to. No, I just, no, just want to force that. feed people cum. Yeah, isn't that funny? Everybody drink my cum. <laughs> That's it. 
And like, just, right, wouldn't it be funny? Wouldn't it be funny if I made all these all these really desperate people who are probably like looking for something really who probably have like tragic holes in their in their lives and in their souls and they're trying to fill it with just some semblance of and meaning? Fill it wouldn't it be funny cum? if I wouldn't it, wouldn't it be funny if I filled their esophaguses with my cum and told them to eat it because it was like a, a fucking ancient because tradition? God would be happy be if they awesome? ate my cum. Oh, look, God would love you more if you ate my yeah. fucking cum. You're out of your fucking mind. You're off your fucking rocker, bro. Lots of, like, but hey, would you? But would you guys? But would you guys try? Would haggis, I actually please? try haggis? Um, I I really really have a thing. I just don't like a lot of organ meats unless the the consistency is like muscle meat. You know, if 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 it's like because like say my friends, uh, you know, Mexican, they love menudo, and um and you know they're just they're just just going to town on cow stomach. I've and I'm heard. Like, I've heard. Menudo's cow that. stomach is fucking gross. Yeah, it's just uh, basically, I don't know I... And the way you have to prep it, dude, it's just not you worth eating. You gotta dry it. Like, it's, it's such so a gross. long process and it smells terrible. It smells awful. And because it's fucking... I gotta say, I... Yeah, like, Menudo doesn't... If... If... If Haggis... It really depends on the consistency, I think. Like, if it was, like, the consistency of, like, a steak or, like, a... like right. a Right, like, like muscle meat. Like, like, yeah, if it was, like, con- the consistency of muscle meat, I think I would probably eat it. Like, I would eat most things in, in that consistency. Like, if somebody came to me and, like, hey, welcome to fucking, I don't know, Thailand or, or Vietnam or whatever, and it's like, hey, would you do you want, like, um... Do you want some dog or do you want some cat? I was like, "Is there anything else?" And they're like, "No." It's like, I guess I'll have a dog. Uh, mm. You I, I like me. I would. Uh, you have the I would eat me. that. Meat. I, I, I that. think I would eat that. My dad. My dad was telling me this awesome story about how, like, when he was nineteen, he was in um, Korea, and because uh, he was in, he was doing. Uh, he was in the military, and they were doing like some training exercise in Korea, and then they went out for burgers. And apparently, they were they went out with people who were like already training there for a while, so they kind of knew the area. And they tricked him into eating dog burgers and they didn't tell him until like the end of the day. They had it at like for lunch at like 12. And then like at the end of the day, he was feeling totally fine the whole day. And then they were like, by the way, that was dog. And then he started throwing up at the end of the day once he learned. <laughs> I just love all the mind works. Like, like it, yeah, the totally mind well, yeah, this is the, delicious. The connection between a person and a dog is sacred. Humans and dogs have a literal well, it's not, sacred. It's not people. If that were if that were true, th- that part of the world would not be destroying dogs and no, having them. No, they don't burgers. care because those are demons. Those are demons. They're they're, they're they <laughs> fell. They fell. They fell from in Allah's eyes. And Allah, Allah, they're, they're Allah careful. Fallen. They're fucking, careful. You're starting to sound like a Trump supporter. Careful. What are you saying? <laughs> Be yeah, careful, careful, careful where you're treading. Well, I'm starting to sound you're like saying those people are. You're saying those people from the side of the world are demons. You got to be careful where you're treading, sir. Open a book, read the literature. All I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's uh let's move on because we've only got to yeah. one question in two hours. Yeah. Uh <laughs> God damn it, man. Uh yeah, all right, let's dope. see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh your noble truth hey. wrote in. He says, Ahoy, ahoy, you uh chicken arrow critters. I don't know. I, I, this is uh, fucking with my dyslexia really bad. If you were all super villains, who would your arch rivals be? Oh, imagine dragons! <laughs> yeah, like, I, I, absolutely. Like, I would, I would, I would, I would be a supervillain, and I would, uh, I would make life difficult for them in the way that supervillains make life difficult for superheroes. Just completely like out of pocket, like really unbalanced. Mm. Like, oh, this rock band. Has to deal with this like genuine threat now. You're, that's that's you're that twisted. would be my story. Um, who would be my, my uh, who would I hate? Who do I hate? I don't know. Other than like the gays, uh, who would I? Who would be a viable <laughs> yeah, person classic. for my wrath? Uh, Very classic. Ah, uh, I'm trying to think. You don't have anybody. You would like, not even like. It's not even have to be like a like somebody you hate. It's just it just could be like an arch rival, like somebody like Ethan Ralph. Would be Ethan a good Ralph, one. Nah, he's not worth. He's not worth my powers. I want him to keep doing what he's doing. Every he's just, every he's every too much to Reagan, dude. And that, that whole family, was... the whole Reagan, Reagan family, Reagan's, the whole Reagan Reagan's 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 family, family. <laughs> just me in the sky throwing lightning bolts at their house. <laughs> and they're just like, please stop, and I refuse. I want oh to God. just get, um, uh. Haggis fill, fill it with cum and feed it to Ben Shapiro. Uh, that would be really. Oh good. my god! I think oh it would really. My god. Uh, this haggis is really good. There's an extra spice on here that I don't quite understand, and I just be like, "That is my cum, Ben Shapiro." And then 
he won't be- he won't accept it because he's too you know with his <laughs> argumentative like no no I I this is this is uh this is Krispy Kreme's filling this is this is Krispy Kreme's icing and it's very delicious like, and no, he'll ben. just ra- justify it ben, it's he my won't cum. accept that it's cum and he'd I'm be like, gargling it. <laughs> behind the scenes once the camera's off yeah i will literally like it's like it's, a, it's like that, a, it's like that episode of it's like that episode of spongebob where squidward like takes that little bite of the burger <laughs> and then he's like <laughs> he's like he's painfully addicted to it <laughs> that, the, his face in episode when his I eyes when it. his eyes are like slumped in and dark it's like yo <laughs> my favorite my i think i i will i think about his lips like grabbing Ugh. that little piece of meat i think it's, about that at least once a week. That is insane. It's so Un- good. Like unprovoked. It is. It, it that, that image just left such a profound impact on my brain. It's just tattooed in there. Like I will never. I'll be. I'll be on my deathbed when I'm like fucking. I don't know. Forty eight. Uh, suffering from like uh, insane a- a- Alzheimer's or whatever. I'll be bare. I'll be senile by forty eight. Then Jesus I'll be sitting Christ. by forty eight. I'm speed running. I think, uh, but I don't want to die. I don't just want to die. Like I don't want to like get in a car and like explode or something. I don't want to get like oh a stray bullet gets me. Mm. I want to speed run life. Like I want to I want to get through all of the phases that a normal person gets through, but real quick. Fair enough. I want to be elderly by fifty for sure. We can make like, it happen. Fi- like a lot yeah, of yeah, drugs. I think I can what do is it. the youngest person? A lot of person, drugs. The youngest person that got Alzheimer's ever. Like a fucking uh, probably a probably a baby, honestly. Like, so sad. <laughs> I mean, if you if you uh, if you keep sleeping like uh, shit, like say four hours a night, and you don't have the genetic uh, uh, what is it, whatever the ability to be recharged off of that, you'll get you'll get dementia really fast. So you know, just just sleep for four hours a night and be insanely tired, and then just drink buttloads of caffeine, and you'll get there quickly. A 23-year-old is believed to be the youngest person in Britain uh, diagnosed with dementia. Of course uh, he was dementia. in Britain. All right, mate. I don't know what the fuck's going on here. Fucking jagged teeth like, having motherfuckers. You know, you, know why, you know why we have that statistic? Why? Because in Britain they have the, the NHS, and so he's been alive long enough for them to figure that out. Whereas if that happens over here, that guy's like diving in front of a train to save a cow or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mate, I am so fucking confused. I have no idea. Oi, what's bro, going where on. am I going to? I have no clue where I belong. Hey, where it is? Oh, Oi. wow, wait, look <laughs> at me. Let me go t- ride and find Franklin the tugboat. And he goes, jumps into a lake and dies. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was fucking manic. That, that, that diatribe was, if I saw anybody do, and they're doing, oh, they're know, doing oh, this, <laughs> like a fucking animatronic. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that oh just what God. British people look like always? That's I just so like it just did a really vile. good impression. That's so vile. Oh, you looking to catch the football game later today on the telly? Uh, the football TV on the oh, telly, bro. I like Why, I mate? like looking at the telly. You want to have some <laughs> unseasoned meat? I need to go to the loo. <laughs> I don't think it's cooking you, my bacon. Oi, 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 oi! And it goes and it dies. Put the milk in the tea, mummy. <laughs> Mom, I need the milk in me tea. <laughs> this what is this? <laughs> <He's> a- <laughs> I'm so sorry. I have a I have a whole ass British sister, which is so fucking fucked up. Whole oh, ass love, relative love- who's British. I like it, man. They they they've been I, in control. Love, they've had so many kingdoms and shit. It's their time. They need to be. They got, you got to punch down, man. I, punch I, down. I love the punch idea. Down. I love. I love. Hold on, hold on. I love the idea that like when you're thinking of Italian, you think of like uh, you think of this, and then like you think of New Yorkers, you think of like eh, you know, and then you think of like British people. <laughs> Psychosis. <laughs> What's going on here, mate? Why, <laughs> bro? Rodrin. I could go for a little bit of a Rodrin fun up in the loo, eh? All right, all right, okay, all right. Let's go to Nando. We gotta, we gotta, right now. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta stop. I want a little chip with on. some milk and tea with a little bit of honey with my fanny. God. You know what I mean, right? And put that dead body <laughs> in the boot. Put the body in the fucking boot. All right. <laughs> 
Holy shit. All right, let's move on. Holy fuck. Kre uh, Kre Kremlin to Gremlin wrote in. He says, what's the funniest memory you have playing a co-op game with someone? I don't have an answer to this specifically, but I do have a memory that stuck out. It's not it's not co-op exactly, but I was playing Smash Brothers with, I think, you, Jalen, Paul, and a bunch of other people. And I remember specifically, and I, I've never been able to recreate it. I've never been able to do it again. And maybe you remember this. I, I, I main Snake in that game. And he Snake places like explosives right and you can like kind of like detonate them whenever you want you could stick them on people you, all sorts of shit but there was this one time specifically that i remember placing a placing an explosive and dying i lost i lost all my lives i wasn't playing anymore and there were two people on their final lives and they stepped over it and killed them and i won while being dead do you remember yeah, you this? Yeah, the most kills by being dead. I, that was really that was, that was really, insane really aggravating to me because I did not think that was possible. But like it fucking because I don't really play a lot of co-op. Like the only th I I I can't maybe like Gears of War back in the day, like Horde ah. mode when like we would get like to level like forty nine and then someone would disconnect and fuck it up for everybody. <laughs> those were moments that I remember. Oh, yeah, those that's days, horrible. Yeah. I've, that's de I've definitely been the guy and I've been there for that guy. And the shit that guy gets called in the lobby is outrageous. Dude, Out I, I, I know, <laughs> I know exactly, because that happened to me specifically with uh, ODST. Because I remember when ODST came out, because there were there were these firefight achievements where you'd like, okay, we had the last like a certain amount of sets and a certain amount of waves in firefight on legendary to get this achievement, and then we did it, and we got like super super close, and then my Xbox red ringed, and then I'm sure that there were all sorts of slurs going on in that fucking in that Xbox Live there was party. Something so, the there was something that so pure about it back then, you know. Like it was so. It pure. was. It was very pure. It was just like I'm upset, and I'm just saying things. I'm upset. Dude. Chris is an N word. He ruined it for all of us. That fucking N word. <laughs> I love it. But I've also. But I've also been. I've also been that. Like I've been in that Gears of War lobby where I blind disconnects at wave forty nine, and I it's just like, God damn it, this piece of shit. <sighs> Fucking asshole! Why do you join the game if you know you're gonna disconnect? What the fuck is going I, on? We spent six hours on this. Eyeblind is also the worst teammate in history. He, he is, is pretty the worst bad, yeah. in history. But uh, I like playing with him, but he's a terrible teammate. Like, I love like I like what is it? What has been a funny time? There was one time we were playing Smash at Joe's house, and um, <laughs> one of our friends played as Donkey Kong, and he would just grab people. No, we were playing with Lyle, and Lyle kept playing as Kirby, and he would just swallow Kyle and then spit him out every time. And it was like a, it was that's like a technique from like Smash Bros. One, but he just stayed on the ledge, swallowed Lyle, spit him out below the ledge, and then floated back up. And I've never seen Kyle get really mad before. And he just, it, and he wasn't even mad. He was just more hurt. And it was so funny because I've never seen him get hurt like that. It did. <laughs> it, uh, it did. Feel, I was there. I saw this. <laughs> he was so bad. It did feel. It was so bad. It did feel like, uh, it felt like, like watching, I don't even know, like watching a dog get its face rubbed in piss that wasn't his just hurt <laughs> you just, know like just like just like just no like unnecessary shame for no reason it, uh it's <laughs> and, and then lyle's the kind of guy that like to make sure you die he'll rub shit on a knife then stab you with it like he's just a bottom feeder he has no honor at all so he's just watching this one person that's trying to have fun with this game while this other person <laughs> just being a huge piece of shit to them that's like uh that's like the fucking um that's like that video <laughs> that's like that video of the guy dipping his dipping his hand in face and punching the other guy he was you doing poison video, damage. I've never they were seen fighting that. in a bathroom. They, they, were fighting, they, were, they were fighting in a bathroom, and then he like he, I I don't think he did no, it on purpose. It. I think he like he went he went to punch, and then his hand dipped into the urinal, and then he puts it out and punches the guy in the face again Damn. with a fistful of piss. It's, just, it's one of the it is, it is poison damage, bro. It's poison damage. 
<laughs> it's such a good. It's it is such a good video. It was po- it was Elden Ring poison 2%, damage. Two percent, man. It's so good. You, he's gonna get that stack up, and you're gonna be fucking ruined. If I keep punch you about piss fist, you're gonna fucking die. <laughs> you just see his life chipping away. Just, oh, 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 Fuck, piss. I'm poisoned. That sounds like some UK shit. That sounds like something <laughs> that would happen in the UK. Was it? It might was have been American. The UK. They it, were they were it ruffians. So, it sounds like something that would happen. They were ruffians. It reminds me. It reminds me so much of the beginning of fucking Splinter Cell Conviction when you're fighting in the bathroom and you're like bashing, you're like bashing some guy's head through a urinal and breaking it. Should be dead. Like I should be it's dead. Should be flat. <laughs> yeah, yeah it should be so. flat. Splinter Cell Conviction was a good game. This is not a good, you know, not a stealth game exactly, but mm, I never. Anyway, played do you have an answer? Oh well, yeah, 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 I forgot about uh, Halo Three. It was like multiplayer with my roommates, and I remember there was uh, we we would jump on a warthog, and so we would try to get somebody else to get, jump on the back, jump on the, the the machine gun or whatever on the back or uh, mounted, and then so whoever would do that, we would just drive them in circles and see how long until they just would get off. Because you know you want to just see how long they would last before they're like, "What the fuck are you doing?" And one guy like lasted for a long time, and then as soon as he got off, he got sniped, and it was like the funniest fucking thing ever. Because I can only imagine how mad that guy was, thinking like, "Oh, we're trying to actually win, and then we're fucking with him, and then he dies immediately." And it was just, it was just like beautiful, like if it feel, as if it was planned out. So the circle thing is like a weird thing that we do though, because uh, I tried out Path of Exile in I don't know 2014, whatever that Diablo ripoff, mm-hmm. the free to play one. And it's actually pretty fun, and we would just get everyone in the lobbies. Like, there's a place where you go where you can buy skins or whatever before you jump right back into the game. People are just kind of hovering around like in an MMO, and we would get everyone to just start running in circles. And just you start That's seeing crazy. monkey see, monkey do. You just keep doing it, and other people would see other people do it, and everyone's just running in circles just for no fucking I reason. Love <laughs> that, th- that was such a magical time for video games when that was because po- i feel like that kind of thing doesn't really happen that much anymore like i feel like now because everybody's like grinding for the battle pass you know what i mean they're like oh man i gotta get i gotta get these daily challenges in or whatever right, the fuck i'm trying yeah. to get them. but like like back in the day you used to have like you would jump into like a team deathmatch game and sometimes like you could communicate to the other players in a way that would be like let's just fucking do let's just do stupid shit and like the game would stop like no but like people would stop trying to kill each other and they would be like, Oh, let's try and like make a tower of men. <laughs> That's or whatever. crazy because yeah. I was never that like, kid. I was always the asshole that would with a shotgun and kill them. And they're like, Oh, well, these people are playing like something it, cool and I'd walk up to somebody and I would just fucking shotgun in the back of their head, blow their brains out. It's crazy that you say that though, Derek, because I remember there was this one time that I was on a uh turret and I was around just spinning around in circles for like a really long time and then I Oh, yeah? Jumped out, jumped and out, and just... Did that actually happen to you before? Can you, ima- can you imagine if that, like, my mind would shatter if like, the it world, was you? The world's small but also that huge would... at the same time, you know? It was kind of like that getting would... on, uh, it was like getting on the, a team deathmatch with the Jesus Christ in Modern Warfare 2. I'm like, <laughs> the, like, he got the name. Like, that's the guy. And I'm like, who's this guy who, who I... had to have been on the game from fucking the first hour to claim that name because like that's one of those names that someone's claiming immediately i've definitely played i've definitely played marvelous captain i'm I'm that nigga 69 i've definitely played you're what i'm that nigga 69 i'm that nigga joke that was going on all over fucking like every video game i remember hearing that and i was like no one has that name for real (laughs) and then i played marvelous him and i was like yo this guy's a real person that's insane (laughs) i'm that nigga 69 <laughs> so funny as shit. Do you remember ever. when your call tag a model where, like a model for, it could just be a dick and balls? Yeah. Where you just do the eight, you know, equal equal. Let you just do the the fucking they I I was grandfathered in, so that was still my call tag from all those years ago. I logged in in twenty eighteen and then I changed it just because I'm like, whatever, and I tried to change it back and it couldn't do it anymore. I was so yeah, mad. They they don't let you Foolish. do it. I was anymore. so mad really that I was dumb. I was grandfathered in. It was still there, and I changed it like an idiot. I Foolish, couldn't believe dude. I did that. Foolish. Rookie mistake. Foolish. Rookie Foolish. fucking mistake. Anyway, uh, the indomitable human spirit wrote. He says, "Howdy there, Chris, Zach, and Lyle. 
I'm moving 12 hours away from my home state in order to pursue my master's degree. And I'm both incredibly excited and terrified about this prospect. So I figured I'd ask you, uh, you guys, if you had any interesting stories to share regarding long distance uh, moves slash road trips, given your past experiences moving across the country. As always, thanks for all the laughs and smiles uh, you fellas bring. Yeah, I mean, Jesus, I've moved across the country like 17 times. I mean, only feels once like. for me. Just about. Uh, I've had sex with a lot of desperate uh, hitchhikers. I'll say a that. A lot of desperate hitchhikers. Uh, what? A lot of desperate male hitchhikers? Mostly male. There was like one girl. There was oh. like one girl. There was one girl that like I I I wasn't even into it. I was, I was hope- just like Ugh. I was hoping she'd be a man, yeah, but it was in fact in yeah in fact it was the least interesting one. Yeah, <laughs> I was like she I was like I was like she was like oh she's gonna feel like oh this is obviously a dude like I'm just gonna wait till she she pulls out the pipe and then I looked there and it was a fucking fuck a fleshy cut and I was like god damn well. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it. I mean, yeah. I mean, I. It, it depends, man. Like, I, I drove across the country a really long time ago, like with my friend Jalen, and and we had, I had no money, at the time. Ooh. We couldn't stop at a hotel. We we stayed at one hotel, I think, and that like fucked my budget up entirely. But we had, I think, I had maybe, I had, like a hundred something bucks, a hundred and sixty bucks, I think, and so like. You know, we took we took showers in Walmart bathrooms and fucking slept outside in parking lots and fucking, you know, did all this crazy like we I remember specifically we almost died in in Kansas like twice. Some trucker tried to run us off the fucking road and then there was this Ooh. fog that was like Silent Hill thick and it was just like <laughs> I, it was it's nice. driving across country is awesome because it's especially if you're doing it with somebody and it's and somebody that you you know that you'll get along with because you just end up with a ton of stories by nature of just traveling that long. Just, just, just getting, just getting sore from that drive will will fuck with you. Like I remember in in New Mexico, we were in the middle of nowhere, and I had to I had to stand up because I, I turned to Jalen. I was like, Jalen, my balls are killing me. I have to I have to stand up. They're so like big. this is like no. God, it's just I don't know what just... it is. Like it, it's sitting down. I. I've only done that drive once, and that's the only time that's ever happened to me during that was during that drive where it's like I felt this intense, just like I don't know if it was like pressure or like whatever the fuck, just but I was sitting, sitting for so on, long and I'm just like yeah, my groin was just like exploding. I was like, I can't, I gotta fuck I have to stand up, I have to stretch for a little bit and like I don't know, lay down on the grass or the sand or fucking or something. And so we get out in the middle of the night, pitch black New Mexico, and Jalen looks out into the sky and he's just paralyzed by the fact that you could see the galaxies and shit because you can actually see stars when there's no fucking LA pollution or fucking light shit all over the place and it's amazing it's, it's an amazing that thing shit, to see because it really like I don't know it does you make you feel really small. small yeah it makes you feel way small yeah and you start going crazy it makes you <laughs> It makes you feel small, but it's it's I don't know. Like I remember looking up, and it's just like he's like, wow, this is an amazing feeling, just like seeing this. Uh, and I get like part of me like really gets how people could like live out in the fucking middle of nowhere just with that shit above you. I can't, I can't. Do um, it. Like imagine looking. No up. internet, suck my cock, dude. Fuck I, that. I can't watch porn without the internet. The fuck? I don't know. I feel so much. I I bet I bet I bet I'd be so much more healthy without the internet. Oh oh, I mean, <laughs> but healthy. Dude, yes. I've been like not. I've been uh <laughs> since I started playing what Ass Creed for uh, thirty six hours or whatever. So I've been like not on the internet, and I realized how much more relaxed my shoulders were from not seeing stupid bullshit about. Because I see a lot of memes, sure, but then there's always the it's like this Trump shit. You know, I'm like I'd feel a lot better not even seeing any of this stuff. I love it, bro. it. I love it. I don't. Use, I don't. Use, I don't use Twitter enough to like really get into the point of where I'm like dangering myself because for me on Twitter, I go on Twitter, mm-hmm. I post like something stupid. I post a good morning tweet, I post a good night tweet. I post something like maybe maybe at max on Twitter I post maybe like five times a day. Max. Like very small little things. And then I'm usually out of yeah. there. But I love it, bro. Yeah. I love it. I just cause I once upon a time it was so hectic and toxic. But now I just I li- I thrive in it, bro. You know, I've gained that ability. I'm a fucking <laughs> I'm a skin dancer. I'm dancing. I'm fucking dancing in the skin of all these fucking psychos, and I love it. <laughs> yeah, these uh, I don't know, cross country shit. Never really um, done it. 
I've been, I've been, I've been, I've drove cross country a bunch of times because my grandma, we would always go and visit, we'd always go to Florida, we would take the 10, which is like a fucking scenic thing, which is, I, I hated it. When you're a kid, all you want to do is stay home, play fucking video games with your friends and shit in the summer. And, yeah, yeah. And I would go with my old ass grandparents that don't like anything and fucking, I, it, it was the, I don't know why they think that kids would want to do this shit. Yeah, if we didn't have video games and stuff, if we were kids like when they grew up and there was nothing, yeah, that's awesome. It's really fun because that's literally the most entertaining thing you could do. But then when there's cable and fucking PlayStation and Dreamcast and all this shit, I'm like, this is fucking dumb. But, yeah, uh, wow, it's like, I, I, well, yeah, I can't go to space and fight aliens because I have to sit in a car for 10 hours. <laughs> that's wild. <laughs> Thank you so much for this, this experience. Water. And, and they didn't like, they didn't like fucking shut up, man. They didn't like they didn't like uh step stopping. So you would piss in bottles. That was like the thing too. It's like let's make good time. That's barbers. So right you you're gonna piss you're gonna piss in a bottle instead of I remember being in Georgia, like about to piss my fucking pants, and all they had was a open uh 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 like Coke bottle or so, not bottle a uh, can. So I had to angle make sure my dickhead is just perfectly because you know at least when you have a regular bottle you can just kind of like slam your dick <laughs> onto it to make sure it just pisses in the bottle you know but like the thing you have like these sharp little edges you know where you drink from when you open the thing that's just kind of sharp so if you want to make sure that your pee hole is directly in it you're gonna have to kind of shave your dick a little bit you got to, you're gonna bro. have to kind of like, like to- See, I see. I like to mash it in. Yeah, you just like you know, to get I, it all I, the way I, in there. I huh? fold it once, and I fold it one more time, and I fold it one more time, and I get one more fold, and I just. <laughs> I fold, I fold it. it. Like it's, it's out like this, and then I fold it once, <laughs> and then I fold it again. You fold it. Ver- do you fold? Do you fold? Do you fold it vertically? No, I, f- I fold it. Hor- I fold it vertically first, <laughs> then I do a flip horizontal, flip vertically, flip yeah, yeah, horizontal. Yeah, yeah. To my dick looks but, like a fucking little <laughs> a little piece of cardboard, <laughs> and then I put it in. I piss like that, and then I pull it. <laughs> you piss like that. I actually, I, I actually, we we actually didn't do that. We we didn't piss in bottles somehow. I, I guess. I mean, yeah, you I, can I don't stop. I don't understand the fucking why it was so even. Like, can I pull over on the fucking next exit or on the side of the yeah. road and just piss? Just the side of that's, the fucking that's road. Barbarism. If you're in the middle your of nowhere, your, your parents are your grandparents are barbarians. That's why my grandparents will. Uh, uh, rip to my my grandpa. He was he was pretty reasonable. My grandma, I, she's getting older. I think she also started. She started calling me a lot recently. I think she's probably been reflecting on a lot of stuff, and so I think she feels bad. <laughs> she was at the. She's a she's fine, but she wasn't like standard. You know, she's probably like I think your grandma was a good, good, really good person. Who mine? She was like my yeah. You're right. You have my, a good grandma. My grandma's right? dope, but she's fucking harsh. Well, she's okay. Let's say on on a tier of S to to, to to D, where would you rate your grandma? Oh, solid A, solid A, easy, easy okay. A tier. I give my I give I'd give my my grandma like a B minus or something. My grandma, solid she wasn't a. like horrible, but there was some things that about her were that it could have easily slipped a few grades lower. But you know, I wasn't tortured, so. Oh yeah, like my grandma, that's, my grandma, my grandmother was always kind to me. She loved me definitely, and she defended me a lot. She was just, like, very much so, she was old and, like, biracial, like, half Hispanic and half, like, Caribbean. And she was, like, she thought that being harsh was the best motivating factor for kids. It worked for my mom. It worked for my sister. So what did you gain from when she would, like, blend rats and make you drink them? She never blended rats. Did you did you did she did you gain anything from that when you, when you would do that? My like, grandma never blended rats. That's why your parents blend rats. <laughs> they blend rats with the fur on it too. They don't even take the fur <laughs> off, bro. They're like you hungry. <laughs> you know what you get? You know what you get for fucking up that test? They grab one of their fucking many rats in their fucking tub. It's, it's like in a big old like cheese puff tub too, where they dig in there. You hear a bunch of rats. They grab a rat, throw it inside of a blender, and blend that shit. Make you drink it. Even. And it's like what? <laughs> will it will it blend? <laughs> like how well does the blend? Does it look like pink slime when it's done? No, it looks yeah, like, like here. Dr- no. Drink your drink your nuggets. Oh, drink your rat nuggets. Drink your fucking nuggies here. Take your fucking nuggies right now. <laughs> your ratty nuggies. We call them, we call them ruggets. <laughs> <rough. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> fucking 
fucking rugged. <laughs> rugged swaggy. Oh my god. I love rugged. Whoa, this episode you know is love, like you know fire, bro. The puns. You know what I, you know what I love? You know what I love about that is that it's not even it's not even clever. At That's all. what makes things funnier, dude. The death of That's com- what makes it the good. death of comedy. I don't like that Fraser smart shit, dude. I'm well, not. Fraser's shit, good, but like also no. Just give me fucking well, dumb Fraser, shit. Well, Fraser is dumb. Like Fraser's dumb people pretending, like thinking they're smart. Like that's the same with Seinfeld, show. low key. Like, but Seinfeld like is great idiots. though. The writing. No, no, no. Seinfeld. No, 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 no. Seinfeld is a sitcom about bad people who think they're good. Yeah, they're. Just well, actually, they of... all kind of. Uh, actually, they're all kind of aware that they're not good. Yeah. But no, 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 no. Selfish. They they try. They what happens is. They interact with people outside okay. of their group. We, we don't. We don't have time. We don't have time to get it. We got to get nah, into some bro, questions. That's true. Let's, let's, talk, fuck it. let's marathon eight, this. Eight-hour episode. Fuck it. Nah, fuck that. Man. Eight, <laughs> no, I, fuck. I haven't done anything today. Got, I got to do some shit too. What do you mean, bro? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I drink. My water got hot by the time I was t- done with the done now. So I was drinking hot water bro. for a bit, and I'm so <laughs> sad. I'm so genuinely not happy because the warm water. water touched my tongue, and I feel I feel like I'm cursed, bro. Freeze a bottle, bottle of water overnight, and then when you're ready to do the podcast, take it out, and then you know it'll melt pretty quick since your room's so hot. But it'll, it'll be cold. I'm in such a bad state right now, dude. My yeah, room, I can tell. my right, room is actually darker than this, but it's so hot it looks brighter than it is. Stupid. <laughs> All right, so uh, Mex Mexidankus Sanchez wrote in. He says, "Hey there, uh, Mr. Black, w- Mr. Blackman, the Dark One, and Puerto Rican. The Dark One. What's a classic? What is a classic childhood dish that you still find yourself enjoying from time to time? I will always have some ramen cups in stock for that very reason. Also, uh, because everything is fucking expensive. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> keep up the uh, keep up the great content, my uh, beautiful buff boys. Same thing for Thank me too. You ramen for man. the question." <clears throat> is that a child i don't know like see i didn't eat ramen until i was in like late high school oh. really like that was not a, and like college was like it was really like my introduction to ramen because it was so cheap tyson chicken uh, nuggets i mean your, your tyson par- chicken is fucking kind of good like uh, it's kind of great i mean yeah it's great like, for, it's, it, you can really taste for, the the torture it's good oh yeah, yeah, yeah i yeah. love it i love it I love that they're. I'll hurt. fuck up a bag of Tyson chicken. It's really I'll good. Fucking, yeah. I'd punch that chicken to death. My fucking. <laughs> you never self. had any fucking like, like ramen, man. Ramen was my sh- Bro, like my I- stepsisters hate ramen because of how that that was ninety percent of our meals as a kid. But I have, if you look at my pantry right now, I actually just told uh, JoJo, I was like, uh, I know we have all this like frozen chicken, all this stuff. She's like making all this good shit. I'm like, I'm gonna start working on this pantry that's just stockpiled full of like rice aroni. And fucking uh, and and top ramen and all this stuff. So that's gonna be my fucking Dude, diet nothing, for like nothing, the next month. Nothing hits more than you outside cold day of work. You walk home from work. You get those two squares of top ramen. You crack them up. You put them inside of there. You make it on the stove top. You always gotta make it on the stove. I do stove top. You always gotta I'm, make I'm, it on I'm the stove. Big believer in that. Yeah, big let, believer. Let in it that. simmer. Let it simmer. You add a few dashes of adobo. You go, you boil a nice egg, you get some meats you had, you chop them up, put it in there, bro. That shit is cuisine, bro. Yeah, I mean, you, you, I, you're, you're doing too, too much work, but I agree. I agree, like, you cuisine, spice it up and you bro. can make it, like, like a good, like, real ramen. But I, I am, I want to get wealthy enough to have a personal chef. Oh, that's Because that's, that's, that's how much goal. I, I love good food. Oh. I don't like cooking. Oh, yeah, me too. It's just so expensive. Yeah. I don't want to do anything. I don't want to. It's really not even the cooking. It's actually the cleaning. That's the part that I don't want to do ever. Um, I, know, I know exactly. The, I know the, exactly the ultimate, yeah. having a, a, a personal chef is perfect because of the fact that you you have, like, dieting is the hardest part of losing weight, for real. Like, once your diet yeah. is, is on green, it's on, like, good just simply eating will help you lose weight. You'll eat your meals. It won't be a huge amount of fucking fat and bullshit in it. And you eat that and everything will be fine. You'll have more energy to do shit. And you'll just be able to like, oh, I guess I'll start working out now because my, it's gullet, real talk. Is, my gullet is good. I can do this. You know? Yeah. I'm, I'm an idiot though. I don't, I, I, I hate eating like perfect so much that I would compensate it with two hours in the gym. 
I would work extra hard so I could eat like shit. Um, right now, yeah. I'm not working out to that level, and I'm still not eating great, so it's not working out that well. So one's got to give. I'm like, I either got to start eating better, uh, which technically, I don't have to eat great. I just have to eat less, technically. Like, say, I do have green supplements because I'm a child. You don't um, eat greens? And I... <laughs> I rarely do. That's crazy, Rare, like, bro. Like, say, I had pasta with a little bit of broccoli in it only because it came with it. That's if it, wild. If it had the option, I wouldn't have even put the broccoli in it. But I'm just like, well, it's already in it. Might as well oh, eat man. it. I don't and know. It's, and it's I not like, even gross. I like broccoli. It's not, no, broccoli's not gross. Like I said, I, it, it, I didn't just refuse the pasta. It was like, oh, no. I'm like, I just, even if I'm fine with it, I'd rather not eat it. Uh, I might have told the story before, but just psychologically, it actually has to do with my grandma. <laughs> I was a, I was a sick kid, and I couldn't keep down solids until I was like four. And even when I was keeping down solids, most stuff just made me nauseous. And my grandma didn't care about that shit, so she would basically <laughs> you you're gonna you can't leave this table till you eat your squash. Meanwhile, your you're beans, throwing up your, on the table, crying. Bro. <laughs> It was your teeth. Your fucking teeth are bleeding. <laughs> grandma, it hurt. My grandma I didn't feel give like a I'm shit. Sick. She's like, "Stop being a fucking pussy." Basically, she I'm she sick. thought I'm, I was just being. <laughs> grandma, I'm, grandma, I'm sick. I'm sick. <laughs> she, she just thought I was being like a a difficult kid, you know? Because yeah, kids yeah, yeah. don't. But I'm like, no, I. You don't understand, like, you know, they, my mom, I think I got to explain to her and shit still didn't matter that I'm like, I just, I was a sick kid for whatever reason. And anyway, so I kind of have this psychological thing, even when I taste some vegetables and I'm like, this tastes fine. I still just kind of go back to, I'd rather not have it. (laughs) I, I know what you mean because vegetables of like, they are like the least I mean, they're, they're the, the least, least palpable, engaging. But, 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 they're not the best tasting by design. I mean, the, the, the no, most yeah, fattening most, shit most is of the, them. Most of them are fine, though. That's the thing. Like, I had a huge thing. Fine I, I is the word. I didn't eat. Fine. I didn't eat. Um, which one? I didn't eat. Uh, uh, onions. There, I, see, I thought, thought the wrong word. I didn't eat onions for a long time. I was really weird on peppers. I was really weird on like bean sprouts like that for a long time. And then one day, bean sprouts is weird to me because they don't taste like anything. It's just like uh, they, it's but, just for crunch, isn't it? There's a weird crunch in it to it for me. I was like, that's weird. But I started eating them recently, and I can't believe I didn't eat them before. I fucking love peppers, like just raw peppers. I bought a raw pepper that I ate like two days ago because I was just bored and I was like, I want to eat that. I like that it crunches. Oh, like, like bell peppers, oh, I, I, like, I like bell peppers. Like, yeah, like yeah, I just yeah. ate a raw pepper. I was like, oh, I'm bored. I love, I love bell, but bell even like peppers onions, are great. I, I, I fucking, I don't mind squash. Celery is weird to me because people say celery doesn't have taste. Celery has such a fucking weird taste it has a taste i can taste celery it has a taste people tell me they i don't can't. really taste C- celery 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 tastes like water to me it yeah because it, it is like 98 percent water or something like I, that i can taste so, celery. Yeah, it makes it's, like, it's like a, it's like a watermelon without flavor <laughs> <laughs> the, the thing the thing is like yeah i don't know i i don't love vegetables but if uh you know i i tend to just i tend to try to have just them throw them in with everything it's, and i'll eat but, it all together no, and smart. i'll be fine but 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 I will say like uh-huh. you'd be you'd be doing a, a great job if you were just eating if you were eating vegetables and taking those supplements then you'd be fucking then you'd right. be fucking balling so I mean you'd the be whole like an, you'd <laughs> fucking the whole, Popeye the whole reason you take supplements is if you you're supposed to supplement right yes, if you yeah. don't actually get the stuff that you get in you like me since uh if I if I were like a motherfucking salad eater then I wouldn't take this shit but I this love is just salad to make sure too, which is weird. But I like them yeah. dry. I, just, I like, I, I like I don't, dry. I've I like, told I Chris this salad. before because you've seen me eat dry salads before. I love yeah, dry salads. No, 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 it's no, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, no, hold on, hold on. Let me let me tell you this because yeah. I've I I also well, like when I have salads, I also have dry salads. I love it. I just got some chicken, some dry I, I ass don't, chicken. It's not that I and love I just it. Eat it. It's, <laughs> no, you know what? You know what? For me, it is. You know what it is? It's not even that I love it. It's just like this is purely healthy. This is just. So this is purely as a means to an end. This is not here for me to enjoy. This right. is not here for me to savor. This is this salad functions as a means for me to uh, get what I need for right. the day. Right. So I'm not going to drench it in fucking all these like flavorful additives just to try to trick myself into thinking that I'm eating something delicious. 
Also, that's te- like, and also the assumption is too that like, oh, if you're putting more flavor into your food, it's technically making it less healthy because there's like sugar well, and all that sorts is of shit. absolutely like, true. Especially, like, yeah, most people get most of their calories from liquids. They don't even know that shit. Like, uh, when yeah, you see, so uh, when I see people eat fucking, uh, let's say for example, they're eating chicken. There's just a little light breading on it, and then they have five sauces with it. I'm like, you just drank a thousand calories. Yeah, <laughs> like, you just, you just like. You, that's yeah. the thing. I have, you, I have to get, I have to get rid of every sugar based drink because that's how it gets I, you. That's what gets you. Literally, is your beverages. So like a soda, like I try, like, I like soda. I try not to drink what I, I mean, usually dude, do, but I sugar free. I've look. Okay, I've gotten to the point where I've dude, there's so many different type of uh, alternatives. There's stevia, there's sucralose, there's aspartame, there's potassium. There's so many different kinds now that you can find one that actually tastes really good to you. Um, I like stevia just because it's plant based. It's like it's stevia is a plant, um, so I like that, and it's it's uh, zero calories. Thing is, I used to be a little wary and scared of a lot of the sugar free shit because I heard so many different like Alex Jones type of theories. But I'm an I'm a my brain works now. And now I can see research from real doctors refuse, and like, no, it's fine, bitch. Or for me, it's simply it's this fine, idea bitch. is that I have like a bit of juice. Like I like orange juice a lot, like probably too much. But I have some juice, and then this orange juice is so acidic. It doesn't like, it bother me, me at so all quick. anymore, which is crazy. You're lucky. Later I, on, it's gonna get me. It's gonna. Get, I'm gonna have acid <laughs> reflux. I'm gonna have it because I love you're, you're, orange juice. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's fucking great. It's great. It's so but yeah, man. Um, what was the original? Why did we ta- start talking about well, the, food? The, the, well, the, the the question was uh, ch- like kind of um, what's a childish dish that you gotcha. still like really enjoy? I I, I just I kind of thought of one. Pizza bagels, ramen. Where, yeah, I guess chicken nuggets. For me, for me, genuinely, just a plain fucking grilled cheese. Just like. Uh, just like buttered bread right. with like just normal, just child ass American cheese fucking with like the brown, like uh, the the bread gets like a little brown, but Hell like yeah. not too burnt. And like the cheese is melted. There's no real nutritional value in that. It's literally just carbs and dairy. Lovely. But I, I, lo- I could it's very eat good. probably I could eat a Fuck load of grilled cheeses. They're so like, good. I love grilled cheeses. Yo, I want you guys to do um, something. I don't know if you guys have a. Ra- I don't know if you have a raisin canes around your area, I but I know they're popping all over the west. I got coast. raisin canes yesterday. Okay. All right. So check this out. So you get the the number four, whatever that comes with, like four of them. Uh, you replace your slaw because who the hell likes that shit? You get an extra Texas toast. Now you take those two pieces of Texas toast you got. You get your cheese at home. You fucking make yourself a grilled cheese with that shit. Because so their Texas toast, I don't know what drugs they put it's in them. so good. That's the best piece of toast I've ever had in my fucking so life. So good. Ugh. Like, I prefer I, to go Texas to Raisin toast. Cane's for the toast and fuck the chicken. The chicken's fine. So but that toast good. is Texas, something else. Texas toast in general, oh, like, man. in most places that I've had it, is fucking... It's so good. They're, what they're, is it? I don't, know what, I don't know what the hell. Because I had Texas toast, I think, at, at this place called uh, Texas Roadhouse in, uh, in uh, New York. And I was like, what the fuck is this? This is crack. Like whatever, it, whatever it, this is. No, it's just bread. Whenever you go to an American restaurant, and they have bread, bro. It always goes bananas. I'm like, it why like, is it yeah. so good? Yeah, they, they, you're you're right. I remember, I remember. Were you? No, you weren't friends with us at this time. But there was there was a period of time when, like, during high school, where me and Jalen and, and a bunch of other friends of ours would go to Outback for the bread <laughs> because they had this because they had the brown. They had like the 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 real the, that dark bread. The that bread was came sweet. out hot and it yeah. was. And it was brown, and it was like kind of. I think it was pumpernickel. I'm not no, super not sure. But it, it might have been it was, rye. It might have been. It might have been rye or something. Because, no, 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 no. Those aren't sweet breads. It's not Those rye. It's not. Breads. It's not rye. Mm. Uh, but I know what you're talking oh, about. Oh, sweet. Oh it like man, it was at Outback. Shit. I remember That's that. Well, so good. I'm gonna go to fucking Outback now because I want to know what the kind of the bread is. I want to go. Wait, I know exactly what you're talking about. It's a. It, does it have the oats on top of it? Was it the brown uh, bread that had the, the oats on top of yeah. it or something? Or am I thinking of something different? Yeah. Yes. They have it at Two Six Factory too. They, they don't. Well, look, they, let's look they, up the picture because I uh, Outback. They, they don't have. They don't have the oats in, at Outback. But like I have had bread that's basically the same with the oats that tastes basically the same. Oh. So I think it's just a different type of the same bread. Okay. But I. It, it says it's pumpernickel. Is that what it says? I think it's pumpernickel. Not sweet I see, though. I'm seeing different um things. Honey molasses wheat bread roll. That might be what it is. Maybe I don't know. Whatever. Whatever they have. And again, it might. This is 
over 10 years ago, so this might not even be uh, applicable anymore. Bro, but I want some bread when we're done that with this shit. Sh- that shit so was, good. yeah, I, I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna make myself a grilled cheese. I'm going to get dinner after this because I need to eat Let's something. go. It's yeah, also yeah, so All right, so well, right. let's see. Let's do, let's do maybe. Let's get let's one more. We got, we got one, one more before I die. Before I die from All this right. heat. It's so hot in here. I'm shining. I'm shining. We'll do one more. You are a little glistening. It's, I'm dying. We'll do one I'm more. not. Just Kitty. get naked, bro. Just get naked. I can't. Get I have naked. no pants on already. Oh, uh, okay. Patreon exclusive. Ginger. Dripping ginger, ball sweat to the floor. <laughs> ginger Mutant Ninja Turtle wrote in. He says, hey there, Snark Tank. <laughs> Some people I know physically recoil at hearing the word moist, like someone just licked their ear. Mm-hmm. Similarly, I, 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 I hate pruning. Oh, like when your fingers get uh, fucking pruned? Oh, I think that's what he's talking about. That shit's fucking uh, yeah, a little... A little. Well, that's fine. Do you, do you lovely lads have any similar intense hatred for really small or minor things? Yes, and I don't know what happened. I have no recollection to why this happened. I never used to have a problem with this for most of my life. But when I hear people brushing their teeth with their mouths open, I cringe so much that like I feel like I want to die. I don't know what happened. The only thing I can think of is at some point in my life, I switched exclusively to electric toothbrushes, so I don't hear that sound anymore when I brush at all. So, And I think maybe that's it, because when I hear people with that, and I'm like, oh, fuck, stop. Like, close your fucking mouth. I don't know. It's like nails on a chalkboard to me. I don't know what happened, dude. I hate I'm trying it. To think of, I'm trying to think of something irrational, because I, I really think moist is just, it's... I it's think it's fine. It's like that. because the word's fine. It's just what it's like. Say, for example, someone who doesn't speak English, you say moist to them, they're like, whatever. But then when you think about something actually moist, when you think I about get like, it, I, soggy, I, I've, like soggy, like soggy, I, I, I hate, I know what I, I hate. I, I, I just gonna be real, real fucking rude. Uh-oh. But I hate squeaky Uh-oh. voiced women. Like, give, yeah, it, give an example. Like like, just like really fucking oh, like high the really pitched, high ones, squeaky oh, voice shots fired girls. at Marcia. Shots fired at Marcia and uh, shots fired at a uh, um 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 donkey's wife. Shots fired at a uh, no shade to her. I'm, I'm She's just, fantastic. I, I, like four like forty percent of women I probably. Girls, <laughs> I like I like girls with like deep ass voices. Girls, yeah, like, like I like Miley Cyrus's like smoky voice. Like she's been smoking for forty years and she's deep, only like thirty. I like I like, I like that too. I, mean, I like I, <laughs> I, <laughs> I love them. No, I'm glad I'm glad you said that, Derek, because I I like the I like that too. That 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 the uh, I don't even know what what you would call Wait, it. I don't know if it's it. a smokiness I like, or like, I like Miley's raspy. voice. I like Miley's voice. Yeah, there's she, something about uh, there's something about that that slight rasp that I, I, I do I and like I do like voices. when I hear. Yeah. I don't. What the hell kind think, of voice well, you like? You just like, hi, I'm uh, I'm Lily. Well, Lily's hi. voice is like very. Sta- I don't even like Lily's voice. In all fairness, but <laughs> hola, soy Lily. <laughs> no, it's <not>. it's no. <laughs> Oh, uh, I don't really. El I don't. Homo. <laughs> el homo. Tu. <laughs> tu, es, tu es homo. Wait, wait, what would you say? Tu. tu, tu how would you es, say you're a homo? Tu eres homo. Tu es? Yeah. Tu es homo? Okay. You is gay. Or tu eres you homo. You is gay? Tu eres, you, you are. Is gay. <laughs> is tu, that you are? Tu eres homo. Because <laughs> you don't pronounce the H. <laughs> but would you actually use the. Would you, would you say. Puto? Well, that would be the correct thing to say. Puto, yeah. Puto means puto no. means, means well, the, uh, it's the F word. Oh, wait, that I mean, one, but that's like the, is that the F word? Is that no, what, no, is no, that kind of the mean, equivalent? Well, puta puta means kind of it means, it means a lot bastard, of things technically. Because the thing is that that's that's a word that <sighs> changes between languages. Because okay, my friends that are Salvadorian they call it the puto, and that means like idiot, silly, like idiot, like stupid. Hmm. But then my Puerto oh, Rican family members. The way that the way that the way that the way that, the way that yeah. I grew up with it was was more the way that I grew bitch. up with it was more like it was like it was like bitch it or was something? bitch or pussy yeah. Yeah. like the idea was like it was like it was basically like an emasculating like you're a you're a cool. you know like you're a Excuse you're me. less of a man well, or whatever when, so like you're a pussy you're a bitch you're oh, gay <laughs> no 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 it doesn't it doesn't mean gay <laughs> it well it doesn't mean gay but it means no it doesn't gay. Yeah. It, it doesn't mean, mean gay but it means gay. Yeah. You know what I mean? It means gay in the same way that pussy meant gay I when you remember were like, when you were in is. high school. I remember it now because now I'm thinking back to my childhood and what the kids would always be saying. Um, it's the word. Uh, um, uh, I I remember a lot of people saying binchy hot binchy hoto. 
You remember that? I've never that's heard. I've never Mexican. heard that. That's very as, Mexican. As, as, okay. as a, it's me- you can you can tell that it's Mexican because it's very long. Uh, even though it could be a lot shorter. Yeah, it's like saying well, it's like saying you you f and f. You f it's and like very. F. It's very. Hoto. I think I it's think very, Hoto. I know I mentioned it's, Hoto means it's, something, but I've never heard Pincho Hoto. It's. It's it's Beach. very vosotros of them. Mexican it's probably Mexican people listening. They're, they're like, ah! Mexican people like, stop! It's this is really offensive. <laughs> they don't say yeah, nosotros fucking... either. No one says that. You, nosotros, you say nosotros, nosotros in reference to the fact that it exists. You say the nosotros ever... in the fact like when you're when you're talking about multiples and you're describing. It to the people. Word. You say on. nosotros. It's the only time we say that phrase. I hate. I hate. Nosotros, I hate that word. I think the only time I've heard someone say that was literally when Dude. Brian and Family Guy was trying to speak Spanish to this guy on the train. They were like hitchhiking or something. And then oh yeah, he's and like, he's like, and he's like <laughs> go ahead, go you ahead. You can say. just. You don't have to say me llamo es Brian. You can just say me llamo, me llamo Brian. Brian. <laughs> and then he and says, he's like, oh, you speak. Oh, you speak English. And it's like, nah, just that sentence and the sentence explaining it or whatever the fuck. I like, love really? okay. that's, that's, that's a serious good joke. Goes, okay? that's, a good joke. That's, that's a good joke. That's a classic that's a joke. That's a that's classic the best joke. That's a good joke because again, it's also not clever at all. Like it's just, I don't know, man. <laughs> but as far as like, I don't know, little, I'm trying to think of like irrational things because there are things that I hate that I think are entire like teeth scraping against a fork or whatever, like mm. or like or like metal straws for the same reason. But like, or or even paper straws, like the paper, paper straws paper, is fucking, the blight on humanity, right? But I think the most irrational one, the one that's like uh, the one that the one that is on the same level of moist, in that it's it's just kind of irrational to me, is that I I despise. I don't like the idea that an establishment could sell burgers. And not have bacon on the burgers. That to me is like insane. And I just, I hate it. I hate in and out for that Wildly reason. I will never get in and out. Mm. Well, well, it's about as, it's about as logical as the moist that's thing true. to me. I like, understand it's just like, your, your, um, and the reason why Cause that, that's, cause that's my favorite, cause that's my favorite type of burger. I would never get a plain burger. I would never get, I would never get, uh, you know, a patty with meat and another patty. I would never get a patty with meat and just cheese and another patty. To me, it's just like a bacon burger is like the bare minimum of something that you could have while I, I don't know, like it just it's the there's best no other burger top, that is I totally understand you and I understand why they don't do it just because they're so fucking successful without adding another ingredient, which upsets right, right, me. Right. Because it doesn't feel like I would because a bacon burger and that would be the pinnacle of flavor to me just because I really like their patty. Like, it's very flavorful to me. Yeah, it's a good patty. Um, but the thing is, it's like but you could also the thing that makes it stand out to me is that you can get a bacon burger literally everywhere else. But the, literally, you can get a it lot at of Habit, places, Five Guys, McDonald's, Burger King, every single other place right. has it. And a lot of these places, though, that's the thing, because I'm I'm a very I'm a proponent of. Uh, I taste. I want to taste the patty, so I'll first get a plain ass cheeseburger so I can just taste the meat and the cheese and the bread. I want to know does the bread taste good? Your cheese. Th- those are the three, and then everything else is interchangeable. But if you don't have that I down, I don't fucking want to fuck with their shit. Ed McDonald's, for example, pisses me off with their bacon because it's too fucking crispy usually, so it just falls apart. Like it needs to have a little bit of softness and a little bit of crispy. There's like a balance. Their bacon usually. Because I'll try to get a bacon burger from McDonald's, right? And then it's just so crispy that it just crumbles. And I'm like, ah, like you're, you're, you're what are you doing? What, what are you doing? I really, like, I, I, I will say, I really like you crispy like it? bacon. But I, like, it kind of, I, I don't hate it because it's I still like, bacon. Well, that's gross. I like crispy bacon. I like crispy bacon when it's. N- I, I know what you mean. I like crispy bacon when it's not in a burger. I like, yes, I right. like if that. I'm having if I'm if I'm if I'm having like eggs and bacon and like a like a like a biscuit or something. I want that bacon to be crispy as fuck. I like it. I, Not burnt, agreed. mind you, but crispy. Agreed. I don't want it to bend too much. But in a burger, I would agree that it, ha- it should be a lot more. Because, I don't know, something about eating bacon by itself and it's, like, fucking flaccid. It's, like, a sad <laughs> sight. But... I mean, it better be yeah, cooked all the way through, goddammit. That's all I'm saying. Like, you cook that much. I, I don't, don't mean, like burgers I, that much, personally. I, I, so I, I'm, like, I, I will hook it in. I'm more of a chicken sandwich person. They're not my favorite. They're not They're not my favorite, but if I'm going to get a burger, I'm going to get a bacon cheeseburger. You know what I mean? Like, that's, that's 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 my default burger. And to me, it's, like, it's just such a simple thing that adds so much. And it's I, I know what you mean, Derek, when you're talking about, like, getting a plain burger. I do kind of the similar thing with uh, when I go to a place, I always order, like, lemonade. 
Because ah. I feel like, how could you fuck up? I like, like that. Bro, yeah. It's such a basic. Up, yo, people fuck up lemonade all the time. I, I, know, I know. I know. I know. And bro. and the places the places that fuck up their lemonade, I know to just. Don't I'll, trust them. I'll get. I'll get my own drink from somewhere <laughs> else. Just said, don't fuck up. Fuck up. Because like, because if, the, if, the, if their if their lemonade sucks, their soda's flat. Their fucking the milkshake fire. sucks. Dad like, it's just, sucks. It's a, dick. Fuck you, man. You know? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I get bean and cheese burritos to every Mexican food joint I go to, because beans and cheese. If you can't get that right, your 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 meat's gonna be fucking garbage. I always dude. I always go with a chicken chicken quesadilla. Chicken. Oh, I like that's similar, safe, too. Sim- safe too. Yeah, no, for no, no, similar the, reasons. The thing for yeah. Mexican place, if you go there and the carne asada is bad, you leave. That's it. You get you all right. Get one, you get well, one. Right, asada, right. You get like, one asada taco. All right. Uh, just. Fuck you all because I'm getting really hungry. Yeah, it's time to eat, dude. We're gonna it's time to eat. we're gonna end this episode. Uh, I, I'm I'm I am salivating. Like I had I had to swallow spit like three times already. <laughs> what so, if I pushed my hair down and water gonna, came out? Sweat came out of it. I sweat that much. That'd be outraged. <laughs> <laughs> that is disgusting. I, that is fuck. My bedroom's 143 awful. degrees. I'm dying. <laughs> That's a song. Uh, right how's there, how's the how's the air in your new place? Oh my it, god, yeah, it's have you, central have you air. Seen, have you seen? Well, so does well. Not I guess that no. place doesn't. Not, this place is the opposite of central air. In fact, air doesn't go anywhere in this place. <laughs> it's a fucking vacuum. It's a fucking oven. It's an oven. All right. Well. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, today's episode. If you liked what you heard today, consider supporting us over at patreon.com slash the snark tank. It means a lot. Uh, $1 a month gets you access to early episodes and access to bonus uh, solo episodes. F- $5 gets you a question that's Joe. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Just could, did you just forget that Derek's wife is there? Dang, it's crazy. It's your wife, bro. That's f- <laughs> Five dollars gets you a question right on the show. Ten dollars gets you early access to our uh, gets you access to our Discord server, and that's one payment. You're in for good. Twenty five dollars gets your question dyslexically right at the end of the show, uh, which I will now do. Sweeney, count me down. Three, two, one. Nikki Ziggy, uh, rectal lacerator. Uh, the emoticons that are doing this that I can't pronounce because it's impossible. Yeah. I farm horses for their milk. Mm. Uh, Sweeney loudly screaming the N word in my dead silent ninth grade English class because my headphones unpaired. Uh, Storm boys life and what he like. Why is there so much Rule Thirty Four of Spider Man fucking Lucina from Fire Emblem? Seriously, what the fuck? Look it up. Uh, I mean, that's makes about that makes about as much sense as the Spider Man and Elsa stuff from back. Oh my god, bro! That. Why was that so popular? It was mind blowing. Elsa and Spider Man were like canonically buddies. It was insane. Was that, was that was was that even? No, because Spider Man isn't even Disney. No, so that's even weirder. Like I thought, at least maybe they had that Marvel connection, but no, it's just it must it's be just like, entirely it's be bullshit. Like 4chan or something like just one of those threads that just did it. You know, they do everything. Oh yeah, everything weird. It's they- always them. <laughs> Every th- it's so funny because people people like talk about like the, the deep state and like d- conspiracy theories. I guarantee you, every bad thing that's ever happened could be tracked down to some guy on 4chan starting shit by accident. Yeah. Uh, uh, your no, yeah, you remember that free bleeding thing? Right. What yeah. Was that? Was yeah, yeah. That was all. That was all for free bleeding. Was like women being like, we don't fucking care, man. Oh it's my like, god. It was Ew, like, I know what you're talking. Never mind. I get it. Yeah. 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 Mm. That was all. That was all a fucking fortune thing. Fucking fortune. Uh, your noble truth. I have no urethra, and I must come. Uh, I eat my boogers because they taste like my favorite jelly bean flavor. Boogers. <laughs> That's so stupid. That's such a deep- <laughs> Fuck. T- Fuck traveling overseas. I'm traveling into her ovaries. Mojave scribe. Elsie Bray's pyramid scheme, uh, aka Drip MPH. Or MH. Nancy Pelosi killing a Palestinian with her massive tits. Obi won't you blow me. A fukin prawn. Glasses are just real life FOV sliders. Zach cool number. Never mind, Sweeney. I just realized you have swamp ass. I'm coming for Chris's butt instead. XOXO. <laughs> Big Papa Shack. Jesus fucking Thank Christ. Uh, Tevin de Black. Kremlin de Gremlin. Binkus Stinkus. George Hardar Martin. Yes, Harder Sweeney. Nice looking black man. Uh, P.S. Chris, your mom is hot. Thanks. Damn. <laughs> Very weird. So disrespectful. Mitch McConnell's tortoise. <laughs> hey, man, I don't know. 
Mitch McConnell's tortoise shell, St. Maxie from the makers of They Them Pussy. It's mm. They Them Come. Mm. All's the wall. You said it right. Mega Man X8 guy, and I, uh, I'm out of funny Battle Network things to say. Mm. Avi, welcome to Andrew Tate's Kidnapped Women and Little Dick Emporium, Fragile Masculinity Sold Separately. Damn, I like hey, it. it's me. Hey, it's me, Elvis the Alien. I lied about having fun. You guys are boring and gay. <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine? I can. I can imagine Elvis literally doing this. He makes an. You hour think he would video? pay twenty five dollars just to say that? Yeah. Wage maybe. slave five eighty three. Long schlong McGon. Uh, I feel gay. Fuck you. Before mm -hmm. he could react, Sonic was on his knees, pulling his pants down, revealing his cock. Sonic froze, heart pounding, staring. Dead Inside, the Papini Brothers Emporium of Bullet-Filled Uncles, Shrinkus Funkledunk, the Warlock who is using transversive steps. Oh no, the list totally just crashed. Well, that's the end. Thanks for listening, everyone. Nice try. Uh, paraplegics aren't people because people are bipedal. I got, I got my glasses off, but I wear contacts. Parentheses, I can still see. <laughs> that's just a fact about a person. I have PPSD. Fun fact, a palindrome is a word or name that reads the, the same forwards, backwards yeah. and forwards. Imagined, imagine being named Regina. Have a nice day. Damn. God damn it. That's so dumb. Tell him, Steve, Dave, Antifus Maximus, wielder of the enchanted bike lock. God is dead because Amber Heard shat in his bed. John Strickland, Sweeney has so much Chuckster energy. How has he not chucked Chris into the abyss? Chuckster? Uh, Mercs. Yeah, like you, you, like you throw things. Know, I'm not a thrower. You're not I'm a throw things? Throw I'm a dropper. Downey McFrowney, Merck's 1889, <laughs> I'm a drop. Drop shit. Alternate Universe Sweeney, where he's the same in every way, but except he's also a big Reagan supporter. The oddly sexual <laughs> moaning of the biometric so... scanner on Solar Opposites. I have the uh, the first church of Keith David, not gay, just topping the first church of America to say to assert dominance. Baby Simba getting ran over by a red 2003 Silverado with a flared red bed and extended calf. Is that what the something fuck? that you guys fuck. did no, on stream? No, 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 that's just that's just so specific. That's, that's what I that's why I thought it was something you guys made up or something. No. Pre-Roz, Drunken Doolahan, ain't that a kick in the dick? Blake 896, Ryan Lucchese, Sloshy Scout, Maximus Sussus, the brother of nice. Sussus Totalis and son of Impostus Among Us. Fuck you. <laughs> Depraved McBooty Warrior, Bada Bad Bad Booty. Chris has a high voice for a lesbian, back, and no longer on crack. Uh, Alaskan oil field trash, Marcus Sor uh, Shorten, Sue Hulk, uh, Game Controller, 25, Danny DeVito's Draconian Return. Oh, hey, it's been a while. Marcus Penis and his Hammer of Tog. Uh, <laughs> lobotomized Jesus and his Merry Band of Figure Nuggets. I, I, the Loathsome Cum Eater. The non-binary incel who accidentally clicked on Tumblr in 2009, and now I wear thigh highs and hate. And That's where it ends. What? <laughs> uh, yeah, it cuts off. Sorry if, the, if there's more. Uh, the only stick I touch while driving is my penis. Parentheses, I mess with while driving. Wasn't escalation, but a brief moment of levitation. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Come inside my tummy. Br uh, Jackson Absage. Badly brave. Hugger Dark, the movie theater manager. Aetherian. Chris Gate, my Pajurian hunting ass, to save our Mother Earth from alien attack from vicious giant insects I, I that have once again come back. Ah, God. And once again, uh, and the one true king of haphazard, except no substitutes. That's 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 him. Wait, that's that, his he, name. Changed he changed his name. His name. Oh, he changed his name. The one, the one true, the one true king of haphazard, except no substitutes. Let's go. He so, should he should have changed it to my suggestion. You know. Would have been a lot Maybe better. he will. Yeah. Hope anyway, he hope he does. That's gonna be it for us today. It's almost three hours we've been at this. Yeah, it's time to get so, some uh, toast. It didn't feel that long, but I'm about to make like ten it, grilled cheeses. It so. felt long when we started talking about food. Yeah, that, that's of, when I was like, oh, okay. yeah, that, yeah, yeah. The, the second, scenario. I was like, oh shit, yo, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. All right, we're out of here. Now. We're out of here. Bye. 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 I, I. Hail Sweeney, <laughs> our new, our new Nazi overlord. <laughs>